down here, Merc. You're coming with us! Nice and easy! Don't think so. Not bad. Who in the hell? Hands where I can see him! Enough of this. He a soldier operator? Is that it? You got this. Yeah, what he said. You're coming with us. Can't get surrounded. <laughs> nope. Not bad. So what's Soldier Boy's deal? Is he one of us now? He's got balls, this, uh, uh, what was his name again? Cloud. Cloud Strife. Right. And he isn't a soldier anymore. Still, he's a professional, unlike the rest of us. I'm glad to have him. <laughs> this is a one-time gig. When it's done, we're done. Uh, uh, uh. Real joy to work with, though. Real joy to look at, too. Here we go. Let's see what people notice first. Guess I'm not on the same page as people. I'd say you're not <laughs> even reading the same book. Enough. We're done here. Or even the same... Give it a rest. Come on. Nobody do something this crazy just for money. They may not think you're a true believer, but you know what I think? Not interested. What? Wedge. You better be worth the money, Merc. Every last gill.
Get him, boy! Guess you're first. Hey! Looks like you're next. So fast, we've got company. Try to keep up. That's it. Soldiers may attack on command, but I hear they make good guard dogs, too. Bet you've seen a few reactors. So how do we get to the bridge above Mako storage? <sighs> Ain't holding out on me, are you? Stamp scared to bite the hand that fed him? Or is he a loyal little doggy? <clears throat> Have it your way, Mutt. We can do this with you, or we can do this without you. Different reactor, different layout. Depends when it was built. Never seen one like this, but I'll manage. Don't you worry. Biggs will have the door open soon. In three, two... Damn, I'm good. Who's there? Door! Oh, wait! It's over! That's my line. He's alone! Take 
Make him! Make it rain! Enough! That's bad. We're back! Then let's move. He always knows just what to say. Cut it out! It's a good thing I know someone who can get us the passcodes. Pity no one else at command will talk to us, but what can you do? Huh. And we're good. Careful in there. <laughs> I got this place covered. Security's only gonna get tighter, so be ready. We can't afford any more mistakes. <laughs> so, you know Tifa, right? It's not really my business, but are you guys close? Tifa and I... Sewer rats appear to call themselves Avalanche, sir. We are currently investigating whether they belong to the same group that made the attempt on your life. Rest assured, our inquiries will not take much longer. <laughs> this pump's sole purpose is to drain the planet dry. While you sleep, while you eat, while you shit, it's here sucking up Mako! It doesn't rest, and it doesn't care! You do realize what Mako is, don't you? Mako uh. is the lifeblood of our world. The planet bleeds green like you and me bleed red. The hell you think's gonna happen when it's all gone, huh? Answer me! You gonna stand there and pretend you can't hear the planet crying out in pain? I know you can! You really hear that? Damn straight I do! Get help. <laughs> Say that again! <sighs> I'd worry less about the planet and more about the next five seconds. Save the screaming for later. Our lives are on the line now. You listening, Merc? One false move. And that happens. Well, so much for having Cloud do all the fighting. There are some places a sword just can't reach. <laughs> just bear with him for me, would you? <laughs> yeah. Should have asked for more money.
No time to celebrate. <laughs> so there is. Look what we have here. The laser security system. Great. Those things will hurt more than your pride if you're careless. They'll cut you down to size and then some. But I'm guessing you've done this kind of thing before. Yeah. Figure out the timing of the lasers. Then, make a move when they cycle off. Exactly. I'll go first. Nothing like a little danger to get the blood pumping. Hey! Just keep those baby blues of yours on me! for nothing. They can wipe out a whole squad in seconds. Not if you wipe the floor with them first. In. We die. Is that right? We need to hit it with magic. That should give us an opening. Hey! It's not cool! Let's pin it down. Give it all you've got. That's our target, the reactor core. Gotta set the bomb at the bottom. Let's get down there. God damn. I can practically taste the Mako in here. Hurry it up! Scared, huh? <laughs> More like. 
like excited. I've been dreaming about this for years. Heads up, boys. The end in sight. Leave the rest in your capable hands. Good luck. This will be quick. Let's see if Little Stamp really can bite the hand that feeds. Hmm. Go on. Do the honors. Prove to me you're the man Tifa says you are. That you're one of us. Never said I was. I'm just here for the paycheck. Then do the damn job! Fine. What about the timer? You'll call, Merc. Pretty cocky, ain't you? Yeah. 
barrier? Never seen this defense system before. Sir, thought you were the expert. So what's your brilliant plan, genius?
doing now? An auto repair unit. Damn it. We gotta take it out quicker, we're screwed. <laughs> oh, I am way ahead of you, Murph. Hold out until you spot an opening. Thing showed you how it's done. Come on, we've got to move. Where should be covering our way out? Go, go, go! Climb. You're not helping. Sorry, it just it keeps me focused. I'll freak out if I don't talk. Have it your way. Barrett! I've got you covered! Find us a way out of here! But then don't worry, I'll be fine. I've got Soldier Boy with me. X, Soldier Boy. They're here! Take them down! We don't have time for this shit! The clock is ticking! Cool it. Five seconds is all we need. <laughs> Don't 
ever do it. About damn nine. Huh? Yeah. Oh. Let's go. The others are waiting. Gotta get the hell out of here, ASAP.
I couldn't, believe me, you'd be the first to know. I'll take that as a yes. That was pretty cool. All right, come on. Looks like we made it. And with nothing but a few scratches to show. <laughs> Think you might have overdone it. I followed the instructions to the letter. Maybe it triggered a reaction with the Mako? Well, let's hope the city's still in one piece. But the planet's what matters, right? <laughs> I mean, this must have helped some. After all that, it had better have. Anyway, let's get going. We in Sector 8? That'd be just down there. All right, then. Lead the way. You got it! Huh. Watch out for live wires. They're everywhere! Ugh. The air in here reeks. Can't wait to get out in the open. Man, what is that? I've never smelled anything so foul. Oh, it's me. Gotta do something about that. And soon. I felt that one in my guts. They just keep on coming. We need to get out of this place. Was it the Mako density? The primary explosive? The blasting agent? Hey, we can figure that out later. <sighs> I'm running on empty here. You can refuel at the base. Next time I'll have to bring a little pick-me-up. How much farther do we have to go? Not far. That's about as good a place as any. Stand back, then. I'll set the bomb. Can't wait to see you, Marlene. Can't wait to take a hot shower. She's good to go. Fire in the hole! Sure told those doors. Let that be a Let's lesson to anything that gets in my way. Attention all citizens. Attention all citizens. This is an alert from the Shinra Emergency Operations Center. Unidentified intruders have detonated a bomb inside Mako Reactor 1. Multiple explosions have been confirmed, as well as ongoing fires. In response, a disaster warning has been issued in sectors 1 and 8. Structures in the area are at high risk of collapse, rendering the entire sector hazardous. Therefore, all residents of sector... No. No way. This couldn't have been us, could it? But what if it was? What's done is done. <laughs> Merck's right. It ain't pretty, but we can't stop now. This was just the first reactor, and the planet won't be safe till we get the rest. Yeah, we always knew this was gonna get messy. And this is only the beginning. Y'all gotta look at the bigger picture here. Nothing worth fighting for was ever won without sacrifice. Though you may not be crying out, I know you're in pain, just like the planet. 
But it's okay, cause I'm here for you, to help take the load off your shoulders. Your fears, your worries, your concerns, and yes, your fears. Whatever your problem, I got you. Huh? Hmm. So, what's our next move, boss? That's easy enough. We get our asses home! Hmm. Hmm. Shoot for the last train home. Regroup in the freight car. Got it? Later then! Hey. I'd like my money now. You can have it once we're back at base. to tell you what this is, right? Of course not. It's healing materia. You can have it, for saving my life. Just doing my job, nothing more. Yeah, yeah. Fact is, I'm lucky you were there. <clears throat> Survival can be a matter of luck or skill. And you can't rely on luck. Words to live by. Uh, yeah, well, thanks. You do know how to use it, right? You do know what I was, right? Okay, I was only trying to help. Oh, before I forget, Here's a little something extra for being so brave. That really was the ride of a lifetime. Well, see you on the train. Then...
great. Not real. You're dead. I am. I killed you with my own. <gasps> oh, you need not remind me. It was the crowning moment of our time together. But that was then, and this is now. I have a favor to ask. Our beloved planet is dying. Slowly. Silently. Painfully. Can you bear to see the planet suffer? Cloud. Were the planet to die, so many things would be lost. Your hometown burns so bright. The sound of her voice, pleading for me to spare you. The shiver of her flesh, yielding to cold steel. That which binds us together would be no more, and I would be loath to live in such a world, which is why I must ask you this one favor. Don't worry, it's a simple thing. Run, Cloud. Run away. You have to leave. You have to live. You bastard! Good, Cloud. Very good. Hold on to that hatred. I'm seeing things. Fumes from all the Mako, maybe. All right. You got this. I should have taken the side the street. The expressway was damaged, too? Let the intruder escape. Security's everywhere. I must ask you to remain in the. You see the army guys? They got guns. Too weak to save anyone. <laughs> Not even yourself. 
Are you okay? Hey, are you okay? I'm fine. Here, this is for you. Huh? A flower? That's right. It's a gift. You know, for scaring those things away. What things? Never mind. Think of it as a memento. Just my luck. I heard that, you know. How much? Well, that depends on the customer. In your case... <laughs> it's on the house. Huh? Lovers used to give these when they were reunited. Look, I'm involved in things. Dangerous things. Oh, I'm sure you are. So? So keep your distance. Wait, you think someone's out to get you? Is that what you're all worked up about? Relax. No one's going to attack you. I promise. Hey, a Mako reactor just blew. You shouldn't be out here trying to sell... <gasps> Let's 
finish this. That's it. Target sighted. A repeat. Target sighted. Dr. Wilson, structure of the deployment. Nothing to it. Target spotted! Moving to intercept! <laughs> Alright, 
enough. Let's go.
Kiss Cloud won't be joining us after all. No need to assume the worst. I'm sure he's fine. You saw him in action, didn't you? Guy's a soldier. Goddamn one-man army. Hmm. You think he's a keeper? To, huh? <laughs> Giving public security the runaround? That's what. Had to draw them away from the station somehow. Nicely done. Well, can't argue with results, huh? <clears throat> what? <sighs> Attacked by an invisible enemy? Uh, what? Wearing robes. Came and went like the wind. <laughs> Thought they were invisible. They were, at first. Only saw them after she grabbed me. A new Shinra weapon, maybe? <laughs> More like a panic induced hallucination. <clears throat> Never mind. Forget I said anything. Suit yourself. Come on, let's move up. A lot of people here. And in the freight car, too. Because of the evacuation order? Mm -hmm. Lucky us. We've got a crowd to hide in. Head for the front of the train to hold there. One. An emergency schedule is now in effect. Your understanding and cooperation is appreciated. Maybe the freight car's not so bad. Man, everyone's on edge. Of course they are. Hey, Cloud. If you're about to unburden yourself, don't. Yeesh. You don't make it easy. Ah, that better not have been what I thought it was. Hey, got a second? You're, uh, holding up pretty well, huh? Even after what we saw at the station and all over Sector 8? I'm a soldier. Well, my hands are still shaking. You get used to it. Something to look forward to. Or maybe not. Why don't you learn to take a hint, buddy? Should have never gotten out of bed this morning. Just called in sick. Little help, Cloud? Please? I can't sure stop thinking about it. Too. The bomb I made shouldn't no, have produced an explosion that happen. big. It doesn't make any sense. The explosion triggered a reaction with the Mako. You said so yourself. That was my first guess, but shouldn't the reactor have fail-safes to prevent that kind of thing? Hmm. You mentioned invisible enemies back there, right? Right. Oh, no. I'm just looking for excuses for something that was clearly my own fault. <sighs> Gotta own up to it if I'm gonna learn from this and move on. Thanks, Cloud. You're a good listener. I doubt this will be the last attack on a reactor. The fire was really big. Why don't you learn to take a hint, Sorry, I I didn't mean to bump. Why don't you learn to take a hint, Power too. What kind of maniacs would go so far as to bomb a reactor? <sighs> They've yet to announce it publicly, but I heard it was Avalanche's doing. Really? 
Aren't they the terrorists who tried to kill the president? Is there nothing they won't do? Hey, quit talking out your ass. Everyone knows Avalanche only cares about saving the planet. J just who do you think you are? A law-abiding, concerned citizen. Law-abiding? Really? Mm. <laughs> uh, uh, shh. Don't antagonize him. In my humble opinion, that explosion was a message. A message to the bastards bleeding our planet dry. Think they got it? Heard it loud and clear, y'all's masters. We will not submit to intimidation or violence, but work together for peace and prosperity. That is how civilized people change the world. That's right. That is the Shinra Creed. Those fighting words. <laughs> it's what we believe. We all have to follow our conscience, don't we? We should go. Right. <laughs> How much longer till the station? This train is slower than the last. You hear that suit? Shinra creed my ass. We're the good guys, damn it. You hear that suit? Shinra creed my ass. Let's get this out of the way. Personally, I find visual aids make the dull stuff a lot more bearable. If it helps, think of it as an initiation rite. How many times do I have to tell you people? I'm not <clears throat> There's such a thing as playing too hard to get. So, here we've got a wireframe model of the great city of Midgar, complete with massive steel plates suspended 300 meters above ground level. Atop which stands a shining beacon of civilization. The whole system is sustained by the Mako reactors, which feed the insatiable appetites of the public. The train will be passing through an ID checkpoint shortly. This here is the train's route. As you can see, it'll take us around this main pillar, Look, we're about halfway through it now. They've set up a checkpoint here to scan the IDs of all passengers heading in and out. Date of birth, residential status, criminal history, all that and more is automatically cross-referenced in their databases. Public security wouldn't have it any other way. Heads up. <sighs> Don't worry, our IDs are impeccable. What'd I tell ya? Have a little faith. Won't be long till we reach the bottom. Relax. Take a good look. It's because of that great big pizza in the sky that people down there gotta struggle to survive. Shinra sucks up Mako while the soil turns to dust, the air fills with smog, and the flowers die. Then leave and don't look back. <sighs> That's what's always worked for me. Well, that's all well and good, if you're only out for yourself. But the folks down there don't have the luxury of choice, you know? Like this train, I suppose. There's only one way it can go. One, members lost zero. And one step closer to a brighter future. Hell yeah! Guys! Lower your voices, huh? People are listening. 
Oh, God. Ah. Ah. Hm. Now get some r, &R. You've earned it. Just be ready for the next mission, all right? Hmm. <laughs> See you soon. Uh. At Seventh Heaven. You know, where Tifa works. Don't keep her waiting. She'll worry. seen anything like it before. Uh -huh. It was like a giant mm -hmm. candle Sector lighting up the was a nightmare. Fires everywhere. Huh. Mako is the lifeblood of the planet? Yeah, the hell it is. Goddamn eco-warriors with their dumbass posters. I tear them down and they're back up inside of an hour. Like I've got nothing better to do. I mean, look at all that steelwork. You trying to tell me that's not progress? <laughs> What the? You okay, buddy? <sighs> Mako Junkie, huh? Figures. You again. That hot shower can't come soon enough. I can barely tell my skin from all the ash and sweat. When I get back, it's refueling time. And you, Jesse? I don't know. Figure out how I screwed up? Ha! <laughs> You're such a kidder. Remember the last time I saw a real one? Huh? How sweet. When did you get so thoughtful? A guy can change. Has been five years. Huh? I need to talk to Barrett. Right. Come on in. Daddy, the Mako place blew up. Everyone on TV is talking about it. Don't you worry about all that silliness. Daddy's here and he's not going anywhere tonight. Now turn that thing off and let's get you to bed, huh? Do you mind keeping Marlene company until I'm done with this? Me? Yeah, you. Yeah, yeah, your money. Ask Tifa. She takes care of all that. Uh. Hey! Uh, what the hell do you think you're doing scaring my daughter like that? Daddy says never talk to strangers. 
<laughs> That's right, honey. I do say that. What a good girl you are remembering daddy's lessons. <laughs> you know what else good girls do? They go to bed on time. Come on. But I'm not tired. I want to talk some more, daddy. Mm, all right. But just this once. <sighs> Uh, so then, what can I get you? My money. I'm still waiting on it. Uh, right. About that. We should talk outside. <sighs> um, Daddy? Did the people who died all return to the planet? Of course. Before we get on to money, there's an empty apartment in a place just down the road. It's nothing fancy, but I was thinking you could stay there for now. The landlady's a big friend of the cause, so you wouldn't even have to pay rent. Sound good? Sure does. Thanks. <laughs> Follow me then. How was it up on the plate? It was chaotic. Sorry for dragging you into all this. It was wrong of me to put you in danger like that. I, heard I about promise that on the I news. won't do it again. Dangerous part of the job. Don't worry about me. Hmm. I'll try not to. Always happy to help stick it to Shinra. <laughs> not good at all. Apparently he was fishing for info on our So, you make We're nice with everyone? Much as I could, all things considered. Oh. Maybe not enough for them. Good. You had me worried. You're not exactly a people person. I'll give you that. I saw Sector 8 on the news. It was like a war zone. The news is just another Shinra mouthpiece. They'll spread whatever lies Shinra tells them to. So, it wasn't that bad? It was. Oh, right. And here we are, good old Stargazer Heights. You're on the second floor. Room 201 here is where I sleep. Don't have time for much else, what with 7th Heaven and all. <laughs> Not even time to decorate. Here's your room, 202. Don't worry, I already told the landlady about you. You did? Yes? Oh, I mean I told her I had a friend looking for a place to stay. Was that too much? No. It's fine. And this? That one's, uh... Know what? It's getting late. I'll introduce you tomorrow. It's a little bare, but should be enough to get you through the night. If you want anything else, we can always there get There is it. one thing. My money. You guys owe me 2,000, remember? I do. And we'd love to settle up, especially since this was your first job for us, but... That's it? Sorry. We spent the rest preparing for the mission. That really is it. But not for long. I'm collecting money for filters tomorrow, so I can pay you after. <sighs> and you're sure about that? Of course. As long as you help, that is. Wait. Then I'd have to pay you for that, too. Never mind. No, two thousand's enough. That's what we agreed on, so that'll be the price. With what you gave me, that leaves fifteen hundred. You're the best! I'll see you bright and early at the bar, then. Thanks again for everything. Sleep tight. <sighs> It's time for introductions.
Hey, you okay in there? Oh. Coming in. But he's not a bad guy. The landlady asked me to check on him now and then to make sure he's okay. Can I ask you to do the same? Sure. Well now, you must be Cloud. I'm Marl, your landlady. So how'd you like the place? You from up on high? I've been around. I'll bet. No matter. All kinds come through with all kinds of reasons. If you ever need an ear to bend, I'll lend you mine. Can be about anything. Even Tifa. What's she to you? The granddaughter I never had. And if you hurt her, I'll take it out of your hide. You hear me? Loud and clear. Good. Now you'd best get a move on to Seventh Heaven. She's got a head start on you and then some. Nothing to report. Maintaining surveillance. My husband decided to go to the stage. Just imagine if rich people start thinking. Uh, it's about you and steps the wall. These shipments from Sector Everyone's worried they're gonna run out of money soon. It's a sad day with people. Morning. Hey. Just so you know, Marlene's still asleep. <sighs> Let's get down to business, shall we? Huh? These water filters won't replace themselves. <sighs> Although the next batch probably could, if Jessie put her mind to it. <sighs> Most every home in the area has one. <sighs> Folks love them because they practically eliminate the rotten egg smell. Honestly, they make us more money than this place. And it's easy money, too. <sighs> we bring new filters, collect the old ones, and get paid. What? <sighs> Give me a break. I'm not a salesman. I'm a soldier. Which is why no one will refuse to pay. What do you uh. say? Please? <sighs> Let's get this over with. Great. And while we're at it, I'll give you the grand tour. Go ahead and keep whatever we collect. Seeing as you didn't bring any luggage, I'm guessing there's stuff you need to buy. There's so many Thanks. people who just don't care. And don't worry. We'll pay you the difference after. Barrett's out making his rounds too. Don't take your time. Take your time now. Some creepy dude who hit on
be real nice if Avalanche reimbursed me for the wages I lost, because all the items you could want straight from the place, no matter your needs. Hey there. Here to change out your water filter. Tifa, baby, how you doing? Been waiting for you to... Wait, who's he? Cloud's in charge of collections. He'll take your money. Sounds like a pretty sweet gig. If you ever need someone to fill in, I'm your man. In your dreams, maybe. Huh? Cloud! Uh, since we're here, maybe we should do a little shopping. Suppose I could take a look? If you're ever in the market for anything else, drop on by. Especially if Teeth is with you. We'll see you around, okay? And let us know when your filter next needs changing. What you see is what we got. He's a regular. Stock up here and he might throw in a freebie or two. For you, maybe. Well, you could try being a little nicer. To get free shit? Not my style. <laughs> Our next stop is Stargazer Heights. Landlady's a client. Just met her. Then you know what to expect. Remember, she's a good friend of Avalanche, so be nice. Please. Take a little pleasure in their panic. Apparently, it was done by a terrorist group called Avalanche. This is nothing to report. Maintaining surveillance. Oh. Hey, Marl. Got some filters for you. Tifa, my dear, dear girl. Oh, what's he doing here? Working? Be nice. <laughs> Cloud's helping me with collections. You better take care of her. I'm pretty good at taking care of myself, you know. That I do. Still, better him than you. No charm, no wit, big sword, but no skills. I've got skills. Be nice. I'm doing my best. You're looking awfully glum. Are you getting enough sleep? A good long rest to cure anything, I tell you. A tried and true lesson for life on the ground floor, am I right? That you are. Now, your money. Thanks, Marl. You take care of yourself. Don't do anything I wouldn't do. Marl's great. She helped get me set up back in the day. You watch is saying they're gonna now? step up their Five game. years, give or take. Wow. Ain't they uh, but Absolutely. never mind that. But We've gotta get you your money. Last stop people. is the weapon store. The trains don't start moving again. I'm gonna have enough food oh. another time. Hey, if it isn't Tifa. You here for the filter? Huh? Hey! That last filter didn't do shit! We're so sorry about that. Hopefully this one will work better. Save your excuses and get out! All right. If you could just settle your bill, we'll be on our way. The hell? You charging me for your busted ass goods? My associate handles payment disputes. Think you can mosey up in here and have it your way? Pretty please. <laughs> Thank you very much. Seeing as we're done with our rounds and you've got a small fortune now, why not take a gander at the weapons? Well... When will Barra be back with the rest? Before we open up tonight. It'll be a while yet, so... What do you want to do? Don't really know. 
In that case, I've got a suggestion. Want to hear it? If you're serious about becoming a merc, then you're going to need to start making connections. It's not what you know, but who you know, you know? Hmm. Another lesson for life on the ground floor. Yep. Connections get you jobs. Jobs build your rep. And more rep gets you better connections. How do I start? Hmm. Why not help out the Neighborhood Watch? They're mostly volunteers, but you'll get to know people. Yeah, okay. Didn't see anybody at the office, so let's head up top. No better way to keep you and your family safe than with a weapon of your own. I Come want... and check out our selection. Huh? Speak with our I ain't got nothing for a punk-ass bitch like you. you get on out of here. Huh? I ain't got nothing for a punk-ass bitch like you. Get on out of here. No better way to keep you and your family safe than with a weapon of your own. Come and check out our selection. Speak with our friendly staff. We gotta do something about the monsters on Scrap Boulevard. I'll head up. Huh. Didn't know you were holding down the fort. Huh? Oh, uh, hey, Cloud. Looking to join the neighborhood watch? That depends. What does this neighborhood watch do? Uh, lots of stuff, really. But our top priority is taking care of any beasts that wander into town. That, and teaching the locals how to defend themselves. Like they say, the only one who will look out for you is you. Cloud's a great fighter, but only we know that. If no one knows him, no one will hire him. Thought if he joined the Watch, he could get his name out there. That would work for everybody. Truth be told, we could really use your help. We can't pay you in kill, but we'll work something out. For example... Aha! What about your sword? I could mod it for you. No thanks. It's fine just the way it is. What? You some kind of purist? I know I'd never pass up a chance to improve my gear. Come on. At least let me show you how it's done. All set? Needless to say, you'll have to try it out to appreciate the difference. Thanks. Huh. <laughs> we'll do you one better. Spread the word to everyone who'll listen about the new Merc in town. Between him and Wedge, there isn't anyone they don't know. I'll march through the streets singing your praises, even on an empty stomach. So, where are these monsters? Scrap Boulevard. Good hunting. Hey, Cloud. I'll come with. No, I've got this. But you don't know the way, do you? We don't. <laughs> sure thing. I know these streets better than anyone. We got to do Scrap Boulevard is out west. Past the barricades, supposed to keep the monsters out. Anyway, we should prepare just in case. Who are tops out of Searching for candidates. Is that who Wedge mentioned? Merchant? Oh. Searching for candidates. Is that who Wedge mentioned? That sword's massive. What does he sell again? Good luck, Tifa, and be careful. Here's Scrap Boulevard. I can see why monsters would feel right at home. And the more we pile up, the more they show up. Deal with that. So that's 
what a soldier looks like in action. This was just a warm up. <laughs> I'll bet. Let's keep at it. Here we go. in like it was nothing you too it's a little surprising well I've been here five years now if you don't look out for yourself no one else will by the way that one's gonna be on the test this a lesson gotta learn if you're gonna stick around okay let's wrap this up let's do this I think that might be the last of them. They won't stay gone for long. Of course not. Even so, folks will be grateful for the peace and quiet in the meantime. A win's a win, you know? True. Trust me, it'll do wonders for your rep. Right. Let's go check in with Biggs and Wedge. Searching for candidates. I hear you sell Tally of Monster Slain has been updated. Got new numbers for Monster Slain this month. Check them out. You hear someone got rid of all the monsters on Scrap? Hey, it's that guy who will do anything you ask. Back already? Got every last one, too. Now the slums should be safe. You guys are machines! Good job. Meanwhile, we told everyone we could about you. So I heard. I've got to ask, though. What did you tell them? It's all right. All you got to do is keep up the good work. It'll pay off soon enough, I promise. How's the sword, by the way? Good. Glad to hear it. Seems like the perfect fit for you. Yeah. We've been through a lot. Oh. You okay? I'm fine. Been meaning to ask. After you left the village... It's a long story. I've got time. Why don't you tell me all about it while we try to wrestle up some more work for you? That sounds great! I'll come too! Oh, uh, no you won't. What? Run along now, you two. Sorry, Go on. maybe uh. next time. Huh? No fair! Uh. Think about it for a second. They haven't seen each other in years. You'd be a third wheel. Uh. <sighs> hey, before we get back to it, why don't you check out the weapons? No need. Come on, the dealer's probably heard all about you by now. Might treat you better. I don't know about that. You hear someone got rid of all the monsters on Scrap Boulevard? No better way to keep you and your family safe. I wonder if the there's any way. Hold up. Heard there's a, there's a merc that'll take on any monster. You, and your needs. you the man? Word spreads fast around here. What if I am? Sorry about before. I get antsy when business is slow. Mm. Man in your line of work needs weapons, no? Why not try that one on for size? Yours on the house. 
Badass like you rocking my weapons is good advertising. Think about it. Fine. Or if you want to take a look at something else. Just a look. Don't be a stranger! Since you've got yourself a new weapon, let's see if we can't put it to good use. Come on, let's go chat up Weimer. Who? The guy who tracks all the requests that come to the watch. You never know, could toss some work your way. Where's he at? Oh, he should be back at the office by now. Searching for candidates. To the other merchants to get out of the oh, hey there, Tifa. You need a helping hand? Actually, I wanted to introduce you to an old friend of mine. This is Cloud. He's a merc. Ah, you don't say. Well, we're always on the lookout for experienced fighters to help us deal with the bigger critters. I'll take on anything. For the right price, that is. Experienced and cocky, huh? If it's a challenge you want, I might have a few good ones. Your clients can fill you in on the details. Prove yourself with these jobs, and I'll see if I can't find you some more. Thanks. Candidate detected. Performing physical analysis. Sizable weapon. Excellent cardiovascular health and impressive lung capacity. Perfectly balanced muscle and bone structure. An optimal candidate! My name is Chadley. I'm an intern for Shinra's Research and Development Division. I hope you'll be interested in helping me with my research. Please accept this as a down payment. I would like you to set that assessed materia in your equipment and use it to gather intelligence in battle. This data will help me to develop new types of materia. I'm not interested in working for Shinra. You should know that I work actively to undermine Shinra's efforts. I'm sure you of all people can appreciate the tremendous power of Materia, as well as how it might be wielded against your corporate enemies. And if you later decide that I am not worthy of your trust, you can do what you do best. I will hold you to that. Excellent! Then we shall work together so long as you deem fit. Once you've completed your task, please return and report to me. I can finally sleep at night. 
Gotta admit, the watch is a lot more... Was saying that I might chat up with sure. myself. So they blew up a reactor so they could... Tifa, welcome back! And you, the new Mercantown looking for work, right? Yeah. In that case, maybe you could do something about the Doom Rats? Them and their were-rat buddies have been tearing up town, looking for food and whatnot. Got into the store and made one hell of a mess, let me tell you. <laughs> oh, you think that's funny, do you? Don't lie, I saw you crack a smile. Well, do the job and you can laugh it up for all I care. Anyway, they're probably nesting in the outskirts. Now I've heard a were rat in pain will call its friends for help. And the whole rat pack will come running just like that. All the items you can want, straight from the plate. No matter your needs. Another day. The shipments from Sarah. Yes, enjoy yourself. John is not a bad guy. You are a seventh heaven regular? Mm. Hey man, check it out. This song's pretty sweet, ain't it? You like it? You feeling it? Have a copy. So I was at the Honey Bee Inn and I met this incredible on Culvert Street, stock goods you won't find in more red. We've got the latest and greatest shimmer of red goods for you right here. Hello, hello! Oh, what do we have here? I'm guessing you're that merc I've heard so much about. You're not here to shop, are you? People were right. You look like you can handle yourself. So some drakes have made themselves at home in the abandoned Talliger factory. Can't have that kind of trouble around here. My regulars will do anything to get their hands on the scrap in there, and if they run into those drakes, they could get hurt. I'll handle it. Much obliged, sir. Head on over to the old Talliger factory and talk to Nargen. He's the watchman guarding the entrance. Good luck. I'm counting on you, my friend. around what do you think should we wait you know this might be a waste of time let's head back to the store and touch base for now you know the item store is falling hard to well rats too much to handle I'm just messing with you heard you took out some wear rats which is nice and all but the job was to wipe off the doom rats no biggie. Get back out there and finish the job, and we're good. Don't look so glum. It's only a matter of time till they show. You'll get them this time for sure. All the items you could want. Strength. That's how. It's a new love story. Once the bar opens up, you can't do it. Tony's not a bad guy. Never ask folks about our suppliers in the cattle. Solid.
going Bring in. It. Best do it right. Nothing to it. Finally managed to get those doom rats, huh? Thanks, guys. You're the greatest. I was so dead in here, I thought I might have to close up shop for good. Hey, got an idea. Hear me out. If the guy who took care of the town's rat problem told everybody where he liked to shop, well, what do you say? I'll make it worth your while, of course. Give you some incentive. Talk you up to Weimer and my customers and anybody else who listen. You'll be swimming in work before you know it. Yeah, sure. <laughs> okay, then. That's what I like to hear. Seventh Heaven. The new merc in town in my little store. I can see it now. We're gonna clean up! Eh, was alright, I guess. Think of each job as an opportunity. Not to make money, but to build connections. It's not what you know, but who. <laughs> you remembered. Not a patient teacher. <laughs> Maybe not so patient next time. Oh boy. <laughs> oh, Barrett should have finished collecting his share of the money by now. So what do you want to do? Head back to the bar? To the awesome new Merkin town, everyone. Heard about you. People are. Counting on us. If we have to close up shop. Something's wrong. Let's check it out. He's okay. Stay away from me! Hold it! Settle down now. Get off me, assholes! I didn't do shit! Shut up, punk! Or what, huh? Screw you! What's going on? Somebody like went that? and stole some blasting data from a you. Shinra warehouse. So public security started asking questions, and you know how Johnny gets. Because of the reactor bombing, I bet. I could be wrong, but something tells me they're not gonna settle for just roughing him up this time. We've gotta save him, Cloud. Is he Avalanche? No. He doesn't really know what we do. But he has his suspicions. And he's a talker. Actually, you know what? Maybe I should go alone. I'm coming. Uh, are you sure? It's the least I can do. Lead on. Thanks. Come on. Citizens don't steal blasting agent. 
So why don't you tell me why your ID popped when we were going over the warehouse logs? Huh? You've got it all wrong. I've never thought anywhere near a Shinra warehouse. Uh, my ID. <laughs> your ID was never logged. I swear, all he had to do was keep his mouth shut. Yep. Anyway, you distract the officers and I'll figure something out. Let him go. Hmm? Who are you? The cavalry? Huh? Is that... is that who I think it is? Oh, hell yeah! You guys really came to save me! Out on the... Oh. 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 Hey! How do you think you're doing? Here we go. He's a talker. Huh? Whoa. Whoa! No! Huh? You're not gonna... Hold up! Wait! Don't... Don't do it, man! You wanna live? Then get the hell out of town. <laughs> you, you got it, boss! You ain't never gonna see my face again! I swear! <laughs> Are you sure about this? It's a big risk. I know, but... It's fine. And them? No more. Cloud, you're scaring me. <clears throat> we need to go before they wake up. I... I'm worried about Johnny. I'm more worried about us. We gotta go, right? Right. What? It's just... You've really changed. How? I suppose it's... Yeah. Your eyes. They used to be less... It's the Mako. Soldier, remember? I remember. So, what do you want to do now? Head back to the bar, or do you want to tackle another job or two? Step back. Factory's off limits. Drakes have been spotted inside. Huh? Wait a minute. Tifa? Don't tell me you're here to take care of those things. Are you? In that case, be my guest. We believe there's at least two groups lurking somewhere inside the factory. Find and cull them all.
They're nothing. Compared to us, at least. No holding back. Let's get this over with. Allow me. Not bad. There. That should be enough intel for the kid. First to gather the data I requested. Here is the rest of your payment. I have developed new materia. Would you like to see it? I plan to develop more materia in the future. Together, we can harness enough power to take down Shinra. I'll keep repairing more battle intel reports, which I hope you will assist me in completing. Let's end this quick. Not a problem. See ya. It's over. Burn. Would kill for a shower. Won't be tough. Of course not. Let's get this over. Good at this. <laughs> Locked up tight. Told you
Don't hold back. You got it. Do it. Got rid of those drakes in the factory, did ya? What a relief. I can't wait to give my regulars the good news. You're the real deal, all right. Keep it up, and I can see you going far as a merc in this town. I've worked with my fair share over the years, so believe me when I say that I know what I'm talking about. Anyway, you're needed over at the pillar. Apparently another flying bastard stirring up trouble. Bet you can't get enough of this, huh? Well... No, I get it. If you're good at something, might as well make it your living. May not know you, but I know a man who's found his calling when I see one. Keep at it. I switch out my stock every so often, so drop by when you're in the neighborhood, huh? So I was at the Honey Bee Inn, and I met this incredible girl. Woman of my dreams. I don't know how much I spent on it. He said he was leaving town. What's that man to tell me? Yes, enjoy yourself. Who's this good just passing with the You got something to say? At the child's yeah. friends left. Thought I'd become a joke. Hey! Where'd you guys go? Come out, come. Oh, hey there! Uh, is Marlene with you? No. Oh, okay. I was kind of hoping she could help me find my friends. I know someone who can help you. This guy right here. Really? Okay, let me tell you all about them. They have long arms and legs, and they're a little skinny. They like places where there's food. And nice people will give them treats when they ask. And small spaces. Oh yeah, and they're all cats. I'm looking for cats? They're friendly, so if you call them, they'll come running. All three of them. By my friends, please. What? They ran away? So, 
We're never going to see them again? You guys! You came back! They said that a scary man was chasing them. <laughs> Thank you. I'll bet a lot of people are talking about you right now. There's this amazing Merc who can handle anything. Nothing I've done around here has been all that special, though. Oh, so you want more of a challenge, huh? Hey, Cloud, need your help. A certain shopkeeper told me you paid him a visit. Thanks for helping him out. Just so happens there's another job I'd like to offer you. Now that I know you can handle yourself in a fight, you've got a real killer on the loose, you see. A rabid catch dog. Maybe you've heard people talking about it. Shinra Mutt gone feral. Last sighting was in Scrap Boulevard. Think you're up to it? I'll handle it. You're a lifesaver. Doubt anyone else around here stands a chance. Go get him, bud. Is there anyone who can chase off that blood or some rather dog is proud the boulevard? Stay alert now! Here I go. Right behind you. Yeah. Give me your best shot. Allow me. Coming through. Out of our way. Going in. 
That's that. You're good at this. <laughs> Told you so. Took care of the dog, did you? Phew, we owe you one. Gotta say, I've never seen a Shinra breed like that before. Out of curiosity, when exactly did it show up? Oh, today. The first reports came in just this morning. Uh, why do you ask? Wait a minute. There's this crazy story about a Shinra research lab hidden right beneath our feet under the slums. Huh, really? That's news to me. <laughs> and here I thought you might know something I don't. Well, I guess not. It's a big organization. I'm sure there's lots of secrets I don't know. Yeah, fair enough. You got the bastard. That's good enough for me. Thank you. That hound had us scared half to death. I have to tell you that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. I've done it. I've developed a new materia. <laughs> I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. I know my weapons are going to be put to good use by a man of your skills. Good money is a merc. Is there anything he'll refuse to do? If it isn't the merc, put it in work. See you. Take a picture, Wyoming. Thanks a bunch. Keeping our streets safe. <laughs> Thinking I might join in one of those. Huh? Think we could be someone. You never know. If the planet's a living. Seriously? I'm sorry, but it's outside our church. <sighs> Tifa, you won't believe this. A Cerulean Drake flew in from the train graveyard, but these two clowns refuse to get off their butts and do anything about it. Hey, is that? It is you, the new Merc. Then maybe you can help us out. 
The Drake is in the old Talagor factory over there. But to reach it, you'll need to get a hold of a watch security key. You should be able to find one inside one of the crates. I forget which. Just smash them all. There ought to be a key stashed inside one of the million crates in there. Keep smashing them until you find what you're looking for. The part I'm looking for. Recently, a rather aggressive. You working? Let's end this quick. Good at this. <laughs> Told you so. Damn it. This won't take long. That's that. This won't take long. Need a light. Would kill for a shower. That the key? Yeah. Yeah. 
And there he is! I knew you were the right man for the job. There's no denying you're the real deal. Not like these idiots with their excuses. Rather have one of you than 20 of them. They're just doing their jobs. Can't expect them to be at your beck and call. What exactly is it you're trying to say, Merc? You need people who can follow orders, too. I see now. Heard you were ex Shinra. Guess I shouldn't be surprised you'd go to bat for your old buddies. Me? I'm just looking out for my people. All there is to it. Hell with you. We can take care of this town ourselves. No more Mercs or Shinra. We'll build up the watch and kick you all out. Okay then. That's another solid gig in the books. You know, the whole town is really impressed with what you've done. Keep it up, and you'll have enough work to keep you fed for a lifetime. All thanks to you. And don't you forget it. So where do we get paid? The shop or something? Yeah, but why don't we head back to the apartments first? Take a quick breather. Which lesson was that again? Lesson one. Got it? Anyway, let's go. Good job ridding us of that. You're a real one-man army. I think we all I feel real sad. Our daughter deserves it. So this is Yes, enjoy. So he's the rat slayer. Don't take your eyes off this. Thanks to the awesome Good riddance to those rodents. Apparently it was done by a man. What's gonna happen to Mika? Huh? Someone's back awful early. Not that I mind. Would you two be dears and swap your filters out for me? I left them in your rooms. Sure thing. Not so fast, you. Do me a favor. She needs a friend. A real friend. Uh, we're already friends. So when she talks, are you really listening? Thinking about her and her feelings? <sighs> or are you just going through the motions? Go on. Let's take care of this real quick, okay? Sure. Come over when you're done. Give me one sec. I'll be done in a bit. Ah, <sighs> finally. <sighs> so, after you left the village, hmm? I let you off the hook before, back at the hall, but not this time. Uh. Uh. Hmm? Well, when we were kids, everybody wanted to be a soldier, right? Yeah, I remember they were on the news every day during the war. Thing is, by the time I finally made it in, they didn't need heroes anymore. It was nothing like what we dreamt of. It was just working for Shinra. Just... I'm sorry. I know it's a touchy subject. Oh. Not exactly small talk. Especially with someone you haven't seen in a while. I get it. It 
still, it's kind of funny. Us going our separate ways, thinking that must be it, that we'd never meet again, and then here of all places we do. You know what? We should totally celebrate. Let's dress up and hit the town. Really? I mean, why not? It'll be fun. Do you even have fancy clothes? Not like fancy fancy, but I'll figure something out. What do you think would suit me, huh? Something sporty? I don't think that'd be so different from my usual. Be sure to pick an outfit that goes with mine, okay? Will do. <laughs> this is gonna be so much fun. You'll see. Yeah. Maybe. <laughs> and on that happy note, I think it's time we head back to the bar. Come on. Uh, you don't need a break? Honestly, I'm feeling pretty good. Marl isn't always right, you know. filters so we're gonna head back to the bar now take care you two oh you're looking pretty chipper uh i don't feel that different must be my imagination then <laughs> anyway keep your wits about you merc a token of my appreciation be good to her nothing to report maintaining surveillance Apparently it was done by a terrorist. Just imagine if rich people start. Thanks. People are counting on us. People are beginning to. Tifa, might if I stop by later? You gonna bless us with your cooking tonight? And here we are. You must be tired. Same as you, I guess. Could use a little something to take the edge off, right? How about a refreshing cocktail made by yours truly that you can sit back and savor? Tifa. Yeah, I'm feeling it a bit too. Hey, do you think you'll stick around a little longer? <sighs> Maybe. Work for a minute, build up some savings. I see. So, what'll it be? Wanna head back out for a little while? Yeah, why not? Well, you want to head inside? We're back. Did you have fun? <laughs> Lots of fun. Hey, need y'all downstairs. Uh, right now? Then the plan is... Marlene, want to go wait for Jesse out front? Okay. Looks like we're officially on for tomorrow night, then. Gotta go over the details with the others. Before you do, about my pay... You'll get your money. So sit down and shut up until we're finished. Double time, Tifa. Sorry, but it shouldn't take much longer. In the meantime... <laughs> Grab a seat. What'll it be? I don't know. 
something hard and bitter. <laughs> well, most people would say something sweet right about now. I'm sure they would. Ah, but you're a more discerning customer, aren't you? In which case... Our house special, the Cosmo Canyon. Beautiful. <laughs> I gotta go. Enjoy. Her. Hey, you see the news? The reactor bombing was the work of the eco-extremist group Avalanche. Public enemy number one. Gets your heart racing, doesn't it? They don't know our faces, so we're in the clear for now. But we'll want to capitalize on this momentum. Speaking of which, you coming on the next one? For the right price. Oh, you can bet I'll be pushing hard for a raise. <sighs> Tifa will be joining us too, but I don't know. Even a blind man can see her heart's not in it. She was never on board with the bombings, so if it comes down to do or die, if I've got to put my life in someone else's hands, then I'd rather that someone was a professional, like you. could still kill some time.
heard you're having second thoughts. I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference. But not like this. I just... I feel trapped. If it feels wrong, don't do it. kick you out? We agreed to disagree. So, you want another drink? Tifa! Time to celebrate. Break out all the good stuff. Oh, sure. <clears throat> we won't be needing you for this next job. Feel free to look for work elsewhere. Fine by me. That's how I like it. No contract? No obligation. Figured you'd say that. Here, the rest of your payment, along with a little extra for your exemplary service. And thus concludes our business. Gonna have to ask you to leave now. This here's a private affair. We talked it over, but in the end, we didn't want to put so much on you. This is our fight. Jesse, what's the holdup? Uh, be right there. No hard feelings, huh? It's fine. Let's talk more after I'm done here, okay? Really, it's fine. Come on, Jesse, I'm dying here. Uh, I'll catch you later. Sorry to keep you thirsty boys waiting. Avalanche! <laughs> that hit the spot. Damn, Biggs. Slow down. <laughs> we'll talk later. I promise. Sorry, you were saying? Keep it tight. Ain't no room for air come tomorrow. More reason. Oh no. You better not be about to ask for more money. Okay, what were we talking about? Yep, best way to clear your head so you can focus when it counts. It's been too long. We'll talk. So, where'd we leave off? Not since we went on that all night bender after HQ gave us the boot. <sighs> Sorry, boss man wasn't having it. Oh, my bad. Continue. It was an amicable separation. Thinking Bet you could use a bite to eat too, huh? Oh, uh, where were we? Can't believe it's already been a year. I don't know how we managed. Well, I do. It was you guys going to bug. What's up with them? Where it is, he lives in this town. Just shut up and wait. <sighs> hey, brother. You from around the way? I guess. No big man with a big gun strapped to his right arm? Heard he set up shop somewhere in the neighborhood. That depends. Ah. <laughs> Clever. Smell an opportunity to make some scratch to you. Five hundred. Two hundred. Mm, three. Whatever, man. Let's find somewhere quiet to talk. Walk with me. Got something to what? say? Ah, you looking at me? We'll be fine. Is he with them? No. Hey, move it! I said so move! Look at all these assholes staring at us. This shithole's got nothing on Walmart. Am I right? Don't know Word of advice, Blondie. Don't piss this off my friend here. You'll be real sorry. Unless you got some kind of death wish, then be my guest. <laughs> After you, brother. Don't worry. I ain't the backstabbing type. Most days. Spill it! 
You know where the bastard's hiding, don't you? I told you before. That depends. Oh yeah? You wasted my time! Shinra's time, you mean? <laughs> Shinra knows better than to stick its nose in my boss's business. Like I give a shit. Get ready. Shit. No holding back. Enough. Here it comes. Goddamn. I got your number. Here we go. Doesn't get me better than this. No mercy for you! Brace yourself. Big man with a big gun for an arm, right? Why do you want it? Yes. This is it. So if they weren't Shinra, then... Not my problem. Lesson one for life on the ground floor. Get some rest. decided to go to I'll get right to the point then. Huh. What have you got there? An apology for not getting you on the mission. Uh. Or not. What do you think it is? A proposition. Nailed it in one. Gonna have to ask you to keep all this a secret from the others, though. It's a personal matter. Something I need to sort out tonight. Tonight? Tonight, you and me, together. I want you to come with me to the Sector 7 plate. I'll give you the details on the way. That's fine by me, but don't you have a pretty big day ahead of you? I do, but if I don't deal with this now, it's only gonna get harder. Anyway, I can count on you, can't I? Hmm. Oh. A down payment. Doubt we'll be back before morning, in case you were planning on traveling light. Make sure you've got everything you need before we leave. I'll wait here. You all set? Awesome. Meet me at the station after dark. Don't be late. <laughs> it's just another job. Tough break. They changed the times. Last train's already left. 
Which is why we borrowed these bikes. Need a lift to the plate? How did you guess? Easy. You've been acting weird. Like talking about one thing when you're obviously thinking about something else. Yeah, and don't get me started on all that pep. All right, I'll give you that. But how did you know I wanted to head topside? Was I talking in my sleep? What else did I say? No, we just figured you wanted to see your parents, that's all. Nailed it, huh? Yep, right on the head. So, seeing as we don't have any family of our own, how about you let us be a part of yours for a bit? You know, spread the wealth. Hmm. Are your parents still around? Huh? Uh, no. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay then, guess you're all invited. Here's to awkward family reunions! Yeah! <laughs> I take it you boys have your brand spanking new IDs? Yes, ma'am. Then let's lay down some rubber. Trade that frog. Okay, you got it. You hear me? Yeah. Just so you know, I'm not going plate side for the reason they think I am. Look, you saw the way the reactor went up. It was huge, right? Because of all the Mako. Isn't that what you said? Yeah. That was wishful thinking. Deep down, I know it was my fault. I used a more powerful blasting agent than the directions called for. It had nothing to do with the Mako. Let's say you're right. So what? I'm planning on using a weaker blasting agent this time. But, since I can't get in touch with my supplier, our only option is to loot a warehouse owned by Shinra. Shinra? Good luck with that. With your help, we won't need luck.
good. Nothing about this is good. You got me. <laughs> Fair enough. All right then, do your thing.
just unlock its true potential. Become one with the machine. Like this! <laughs> Screw this! As if I could ever grow tired of your company. Naughty, naughty! Until one of our flames is forever extinguished, our pants will never rest! <laughs> Fight for me! Room! <laughs> oh, oh, oh! <laughs> Push it past the red line! Jesse, take over. Huh? <laughs> well, well, well. I do believe this round is yours. <laughs> Maybe next time we can keep it just between the two of us. Maybe. <laughs> Until we meet again, my friend! We did it! Go team! Don't get too excited. Reinforcements are hot on our trail. You passed the test. What test? Driving. Did more than just pass. Not really. You made it by the skin of your teeth, if we're being honest. Whatever. Ah, uh, I bet you held back because I was with you. Didn't want you to fall. So now I'm too weak to stay on a bike? Huh? Huh? <sighs> just hold on tight, will you? What? I might be falling after all. Psych? <laughs> oh. oh, would you look at that? It's the end of the ride. Go on foot from here. Don't want to draw too much attention to ourselves. Hey, did these things leave a mark? <laughs> they got you pretty good. Oh, and I'm running on fumes. <laughs> Don't worry. We'll top you up soon enough. Now let's roll. residential areas just beyond this gate. Mind doing the honors? <sighs> Hey, 
Here we are. The employee housing district, where they put you when your parents work for Shinra. While their reactors were slowly killing the planet, we were living the good life. playing hard to get. Folks here must be living up three or four times what I do. Figures. Still leaves the lights on every night. For the girl who only comes home once every other blue moon. Mom's an old-fashioned type like that. Think she'll make us pizza? Her Midgar special? She's quite the cook. Quick to whip up finger-licking food, even if you drop by in the dead of night. And she loves guests who ask for seconds or thirds. Okay, let's head in. Cloud, you know what to do. Why don't you wait around the corner over there? Uh, okay. It's a shame you won't get to try the Midgar special. You would have really liked it. With your help, we won't need luck. You'll take on just about any job, right? Well, I need you to rob my house. Think you can do that for me? Huh. Go in through the back door when the coast is clear. The signal will be obvious. Once the lights come on, it's go time. Time to go. a room with two doors. Don't take the one in front of you. You want the room on the right. That's where you'll find it. Sorry about dropping in like this again. We'll be chatting mom up in the kitchen, so don't even bother being quiet. There's no way she'll ever hear you. Dad'll be in there, but it's okay. I need you to grab his Shinra ID card. And yeah, I know I should do it myself, but... <laughs> but I honestly don't think I'm up to it. Just do this for me, okay? Yeah, like a guy. My dad. He was a maintenance supervisor at the reactor. This. This is what I've been waiting for. Thanks. I'm so happy. Now that is a damn good pie. And here we are. What's this? Dang, Mom. How'd you get even better at this? Dear Mom and Dad, sorry for not getting in touch sooner, but... Don't mind if I do. 
I'm working at the Gold Saucer as an actress now. It wasn't easy, and I had a lot of help from people along the way. But I managed to land a starring role. And closed our two tickets to my play. Looking forward to seeing you both there. Jesse Raspberry as... The Princess? <laughs> Wedge, don't hurt yourself. Jesse. This is heaven. This is amazing. You're done here. Mission accomplished. When are you going to give up on the gold saucer? How long has it been since you even performed? Uh... A lot of people really rely on Jesse. As a stagehand though, right? You can be one of those anywhere. So why not come home and get a job at the Sector 8 Theater? Uh, I'll think about it. You know, I'd really love to stay and chat, but we gotta go. So soon? Yeah, well, we hadn't even planned on dropping by. But Wedge wanted some of your famous mm. pizza. So good. Sure I can't tempt you with some more? Maybe just a couple slices, Mrs. R. Wedge! Hey, I'm, I'm doing it for you guys. You don't want me going to work on an empty stomach. I'm planning on using a weaker blasting agent this time. Since I can't get in touch with my supplier, our only option is to loot a warehouse owned by Shinra. Hey there. This it? Now comes the hard part. I'm gonna use this to sneak into the 7-6 Annex. <sighs> Alright, let's get to it. Sorry, but you're staying outside. Only I know what to steal from where, so it's gotta be me who goes in. So, we came all this way just to eat pizza? <laughs> you think I'd let you off that easy? You're gonna earn every slice helping Cloud. Just do the thing where you draw everyone's attention away, like you did at my parents. What's the word again? Maybe I'm more nervous than I thought. Diversion. Yeah, that. Nice one, military man. So what? Does this mean we're gonna ask some Shinra folks out to dinner? Uh, you know damn well what she means. Uh, While you're inside, we make sure the guards are focused on the outside, yeah? Exactly. Couldn't have put it any better. When you see a flare go up, that's your cue. Rush the front gates and make for the warehouse plaza. The more hell you raise, the more time you buy me. Huh. You're gonna run this guy into the ground, aren't you? How much time do you think you'll need? Not too much. I'll be in and out. I'll send up another flare when I'm done. We rendezvous in the vacant lot up ahead. Hold on. How are we supposed to get back to the slums? Wait for the first train? No. I want to be back before that. Don't worry. I have something worked out. Now, let's get this done. <sighs> well, that diversion's not gonna create itself. Jesse's dad was in there, right? Yeah. Mako poisoning. <sighs> Happened while Jesse was doing a show with the Gold Saucer. Ah, uh, what do you care? No, I want to hear it. Jesse always wanted to be an actress. Worked her ass off for years, until finally she caught a break. Top billing. 
parents were thrilled. And then, right before opening night... Her dad had an accident. Collapsed from overwork. And in the worst possible place, Mako storage. Lay there half a day before someone found him. Been like that ever since. No change whatsoever. And that's what got her into planetology. And led her to seek out Avalanche. How far we've come. Jesse's got a theory about it. Thinks her dad's spirit is stuck now. Between his body and the heart of the planet. So if we don't shut down the reactors soon... You'll get caught up in the flow and... Oof. <laughs> What's so funny? Just that I understand how you feel. Unlike most of the time. I see. Mako's the essence of life itself. Of memory and hope. It's not something you burn in a reactor just to keep the lights on. Hell no. Oh, uh, don't tell Jessie about this little chat, okay? When she gets pissed, ooh, she gets punchy. Well, no promises. He's serious, Cloud. She'll beat the shit out of us. Not my problem. This guy. Hey, it's the lot Jesse was talking about. We run into here when we've got what we came for. Gotta stay hidden. Wait for the signal. It's so quiet. Just need to get past this gate. Wait, where are the guards? here and I don't think it was Jesse this had better not get in the way of our plans it won't <laughs> don't see anyone what the hell happened hey man the plaza's that way warehouses are further in Jesse's supposed to be circling around from the back right no need for us to rush Let's scout it out first. I can handle this solo. What? You're trying to keep us out of it now? Don't be a jackass. We're in this together. Don't expect me to save you. If you need to check your gear, now's the time. Give the word when you're good to go. You can use that vending machine over there to stock up. Guess there's a training center too. Could go a few rounds before the main event. Man, I hear. Remind me, you've got summoning materia, don't you? There's no better way to deal with big groups. You'd be crazy not to equip it. Okay, let's go over the plan one last time. <sighs> you start things off by cutting loose where everyone can see you. <laughs> and us? 
We're the backup. First, we climb high enough to get a vantage point, then we go to town on them. Hey, yeah. So, what did you want to talk about? When spring comes, I'm leaving town. I'm going to Midgar. Should have figured. All the guys are leaving. But, but I'm not like them. I'm not going just to look for work. I'm going to be a soldier. The best of the best. Like Sephiroth. The great war hero, huh? Hmm. Isn't it pretty hard to become a soldier? Yeah. So I won't be back for a long time. Guess not. Think you'll be in the papers? I'll try. Just... Promise me one thing. When we're older, and you're a famous soldier, if I'm ever trapped or in trouble, promise you'll come and save me. Huh? That's what heroes do. They save people. Please? Just once. Uh... Come on, promise me. Fine. I promise. you're having second thoughts. I know we have to think big if we're going to make a difference. But not like this. I just... I feel trapped. <sighs> That's the signal! All according to plan. Let's go. Right. Yeah! I don't see any intruders. Maybe they went home. Oh, hey! Over there! Target sight! Light him up! <laughs> Get 
Pizza. <laughs> <laughs> Hell of a show, man. If only the ladies loved you that much. I'm glad someone's enjoying themselves. <sighs> of course, they store mechs here. You ready? Hell yeah. More than you know. Look what I found. Let's give these jerks a taste of their own medicine.
Now that's what I call teamwork. <laughs> Stay where you are. <laughs> well, shit. All right, assholes, show me your hands. <laughs> You know what I want. A second dance. Just the two of us. You turn the key. The engine roars with excitement. It hungers to be set free! Fall back. Right. Come on. Uh, it's been a long time since I fought a duel out of the saddle. But, for all the miles on the clock... I'm just as fast as I ever was! At last! No holding back. Best do it right. <laughs> I told you we were gonna push it past the red line! Really? <laughs> Get ready. Shall I keep you company? Oh, hold oh, that! Stop! Oh, Burn! Gotta be careful. Try me. It's It'll take him and I! Wonderful! You yes. give it to me! Yes. Yeah. Last long. Don't be out of throttle. Let's get this over with. It's a blink of an eye. Yeah. Oh, oh, that's the stop. Yeah. Once more. Let's what do this. What a gift you've given to me. It's a gift. Well done. Yeah. Satisfied? <laughs> With such fleeting pleasure? Hardly. <sighs> there are higher heights to which you and I can still soar.
Let's do this again. Until then, try not to die. I'll see you on the road, my friend. <laughs> Let's go. Right. <sighs> 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 Run! Run while you can! Friendly! Friendly! Stand down! Your team shouldn't be here. Glad yours is. Come here. Wedge will be fine, but you won't be if they start asking questions. And who are they? First guests to the party, another avalanche cell. Our holier-than-thou friends from the old guard. <laughs> it's always their way or the highway. Lately, they've been a real pain in the ass. Till now. So then why are they here? Beats me. We've been on the outs ever since our cell got labeled too extreme. Though they're the ones running around with mil-spec gear. Word is, they cut a deal with Wu-Tai. Promised them all the materia in Midgar, apparently. Think there's any truth to that? You tell me. Sometimes, I think we're the only ones who've realized the war's over. <sighs> okay. Mission complete. Let's make our way back to the lot. Right. Looking a lot more crowded now. Security's out in force. Just what we need. So are we not gonna wait for Wedge? If we stuck around or went back, he'd only get upset. Why is that? There's a soldier who wouldn't understand. I'll tell him you're worried about it, though. Many of our citizens have already been disturbed by the alarm. Squad A will set up here to search the suspect. He will establish a perimeter. Roadblocks and clues contain the situation. Rumors of violence. You made it! Over here! Okay! Let's go! Could you have been any louder? I mean, it made my job a lot easier, but. Wait, where's Wedge? Uh, oh. Wedge! Uh, that was close. We'll go get him. Hmm. Hey, buddy. How you doing? Uh, 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 come on. Not my finest hour. You get hit. Just swinged, I think. Uh, or shot! Uh, really? Let me see. Are we seriously doing this here? Uh, That's... Wow. You guys are the worst. Huh? Your ass is fine. Maybe singed, but the only casualty is your underwear. This is like a bruise or a mild burn at worst. <gasps> Now that was a gunshot. <laughs> Is that a smile I spy? Mm -hmm. It's not safe here. 
We should go. <laughs> Copy, Copy that. that. With a little trick I've been dying to try out. Man, I can't believe HQ was running an out tonight of all nights. Coincidence? All residents yeah. are to return to their homes and remain indoors until further notice. I repeat, for your safety, go home! I heard someone say it was an attack. Hey, it was those terrorists, right? There has been no attack. For your safety, please go home hey. and remain in the oh, an the An emergency has been declared. All civilians are to remain in the With cooperation of the people. Right. This is it. Through here and we're home free. Where exactly are we going? When we get there, you'll know. Now that I've got my blasting agent, we should have everything we need for our next mission. Sure hope so. Yeah, me too. For your dad's sake. Hey, what the hell, man? Huh? Uh, Cloud was just saying how he hopes to come back inside the Midgar Special next time. Really, huh? Cloud said that? Sure did. Wants a whole pie to himself. Isn't that right? That's... that's right. Really? Well, okay then. Maybe I'll lend Mom a hand next time, too. That'd be awesome! Super duper awesome! <laughs> Bingo. Mm -hmm. I have figured my dad got it wrong, but nope. They're here just like he said. Parachutes? Mm -hmm. Huh? What do you mean, half figured? 50 50 is pretty good odds if you ask me. <laughs> <laughs> this is w gonna be wait, fun. Uh, uh. Thanks, guys. I really appreciate you coming all this way with me. And like I said before, I'd be grateful if you kept this between us until after the mission. I don't want to complicate things. Sure. Okay, who's ready to fly? Me, me! Hey, Cloud, you let him down gently, all right? Yep. Wait, I almost forgot. One more thing! Whoa! Stop it! What in the hell are you trying to... Uh, uh, easy, you'll make us fall! Not if you do first! Swing by my place after, so I can pay you in full. No! <laughs> Wait! Give me a minute! No. Why you have to be such a hard ass, bro? I ain't your bro. Could have done more. Just got hurt. You did enough. You took one for the team. Be proud. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> Feels like we're flying high these days. <laughs> now, more than ever. He's a keeper, all right. Yeah. Together, we can take on the world.
I'll head home on my own. After all, I'm only a little sore. <laughs> That's cool. We'll go together. Aw, thanks, bro. Cut that out. <laughs> this way. Think Jesse and Biggs made it back safe? I guess. Cool if we check on them? We'll pass by their places anyway. Sure. You saw it too, right? Over Scrap Boulevard? They will have to fight out of each one of these days. Well, this is Big's place. I guess he hasn't made it home yet. Guess not. Hope he isn't worst casing it again. He's got a habit of overthinking things. Worrying about all the possible outcomes till his head hurts. Wouldn't have guessed. And when he worries, I worry. Yeah. <laughs> anyway, let's head on over to Jesse's. Me wanting to leave Midgard and go over some word is a former reactor. I stayed up all night thinking about the reactor party. This is where Jesse lives. Men are not allowed inside. Hmm. Lots of pretty girls trying to make it big on stage live here. So don't hang around or they might get the wrong idea. Huh. I'm telling you this for your own good, Cloud. People around here love to gossip. They know about Jessie and Avalanche? Nah, it's all good. They think she's an actress. Oh, and one more thing, bro. It's all a game to her. Don't fall for it. You lost me. <laughs> Life's a stage and loves the play. You know about the secret reactor jobs? Even people from the I'm gonna try to find some living room. Hey there, Bigums, Reggie, Smalls. Brought a new friend to meet you. These little guys are on guard duty today. Okay. Thanks for seeing me home. Really sorry about your ass. It's all good, bro. It's kind of weird when you call me that. Hey, don't be scared. Deep down, he's a big softie. It's okay. It's okay. Good job, guys. Great work. Aw, I missed you too. Oh, big ums, acting so tough. I'm gonna try to find some living work for the play tomorrow. You know about the secret reactor jobs? Even people from the Everyone and their mother knows that so long as the children are so safe, sick of the life in the gutter. They like. I want out. Yeah, well, it's not that easy. You got to like two. What I wouldn't give to be a cat. Try another distro route? The trains are running tomorrow. Scares me to death thinking there might be more to come. Well, if it isn't Cloud Strife, was wondering when you'd show up. Without further ado, here you are. Thanks for stepping up, Merc. <laughs> and now for the cherry on top. Okay, I get it. Mind letting me breathe? Depends. Mind coming over tomorrow night? My roommates should all be out for a while. Are you seriously that desperate? Just let go already. Only if you promise to come back tomorrow night. Deal? <sighs> no promises, but I'll think it over. Really? You will? I'd make a mean pizza, I'll have you know. Marsh, Louche, Black Millie, Red Shelly? I use only the best ingredients. Sound good? Uh, never heard of any of that stuff. Oh, you are so adorable, you know that? You just leave everything to me. It'll be great. <laughs> Nighty night. Bad idea. Bad idea. 
Bad idea. Yeah. You were out for a while. Just walking. <sighs> I ran into Johnny, by the way. Said not to worry, he was getting out of town. Uh... Oh, that guy. You weren't thinking of leaving Midgar anytime soon, were you? Hmm. Well, seems this old friend of mine's in a tight spot. Long time ago I said I'd be there for her. Made a promise. So... <sighs> Can't say this is quite what I had in mind when I put that on you way back when. If you want to talk, I'm listening. Huh? What's with you all of a sudden? With me? <laughs> like you're losing that hard edge. That bad? Not at all. I like it. Maybe Marlene won't be so scared of you next time. <laughs> I'm really glad to have you back, Cloud. Really glad. Oh, it's pretty late, huh? I'd like to catch up more, but we should probably both get some sleep, yeah? Yeah. Good night, then. Good night, Tifa. showed up and came after us. The others? Farad and Jesse are holding their ground, but for how long? I don't know. Let's go. Right. Ready? You know it. Let's head for the bar.
argue about it. More of them? We're running out of time. Any other way? Yeah, over here. Again? Are they trying to stop us from reaching the others? Cloud, this way. Stay on your feet. You don't have to tell me that. I shouldn't be surprised, though. Never can tell what weird shit will come crawling out of the scrap down here. It's those reactors. I'm telling you. It hurt? Wish I could say it didn't, but... yeah. <laughs> God, this is so embarrassing. I hate playing the damsel in distress. It happens. What did you do to your leg? Did, 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 does it hurt? Not nearly as much as the fuss everyone's making. Still, I think you ought to avoid putting any- I'm fine. <sighs> oh. Oh. <sighs> That's enough. You're out, Jesse. Huh? What about the mission? We already sent Biggs in, remember? Don't tell me you're thinking of calling it off. Uh, no, we got this. The hell you do. If you need someone to step up, I'm your man. <coughs> oh. Oh. <sighs> okay, so here's the thing. I'm gonna need a raise. Consider it done. 
Alright everyone, clouds in. The mission is on. Go and raise some hell for me, okay? <laughs> Listen, Wedge. I need you to hang back and guard the home front. What? But I'm in perfect health! Which makes you the perfect choice to look after Jesse and Marlene. <sighs> hey. Let's get this show on the road to Marco Reactor 5. Once you got your gear in order, head to the station for the meet. Got it? <laughs> This'll help you get squared away. Don't tell me I never did nothing for you. I'm counting on you, soldier boy. Forgot to give this to you, bro. Your prize for taking the top spot on the darts leaderboard. You earned it. After you guys come back from the plate, maybe we can play around together. Relegated to stagehand once again. I'm starting to think I'll never have a starring role. There's always next time. What's this? Words of encouragement? <laughs> Thanks, I need them. All right, let's get going. Sure. After you take a deep breath. Huh? I can tell you're nervous. That obvious, huh? Okay, I'm ready now. Isn't the walk supposed to keep this kind of stuff from happening? Just got done talking. Expectations. 
I hope you will continue to help me gather vital information for my research. I look forward to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. I heard they're running on an emergency I can't schedule. wait any longer. It's okay. I'm ready. Mission starts the moment we board that train. You sure you ready for this? Do you think Biggs is... on schedule? All we can do is hope. Today really gotta be the day, huh? Ain't no stopping this train we're on, son. A lot of people risk their lives to get it rolling. Already put the word out, more's coming too. Shut them all down by the day, but we shut another down for you. Ain't on us, not us. Play it cool. We have raised the threat level and entered a state of heightened alert. All lines are currently experiencing delays. We anticipate that our arrival in Sector 4 will be later than scheduled. The target's Marco Reactor 5. From the station, we take the back streets. Once we're inside the facility, it's the same deal as last time. Head for Marco storage. And then blow it all to hell. Let's do this one for Jesse and Wedge. They deserve it. Yeah. Sure. I didn't think word would spread this fast. There's barely anyone on this train, and none of them look happy to be here. Might stand out as a group. You two stay here. First hurdle. Not much of one. I know, I know, but that doesn't mean I don't have butterflies in my stomach. <sighs> hey, would 
you mind keeping an eye on things the next car over? I'm worried there might be trouble. Why is that? Barrett's always on edge before missions. But you know he's a good guy underneath it all. The people on this train don't. They'll be fine. Maybe. But I won't be until I know for sure. <sighs> be right back. Thanks. So, do you still support those terrorists? Avalanche is a blight on Midgar. Huh? Their bomb threat has thrown our offices into chaos, let alone the reactor itself. It's total insanity! But we won't lose heart. No! Everyone at Shinra agrees. The reactor will stay online. Is that right? What? You got a problem with that? Do I have a problem with that? Oh, you can bet. He doesn't. <laughs> Asshole. You know you're better than that. I have nothing more to say to you and your friend. The Sector 4 office has got the worst of it. Everyone's panicking over there. Just leave me alone. To keep Midgar running, it's, it's vast amounts of Mako. Just leave me alone. Why don't you go check on Tifa? Quit screwing around here. IDs detected. Threat level critical. <coughs> Inspection and containment suite initiated. Commencing at the rear of the train. Naka! Get over here! Now! <laughs> Take care of them, Cloud! Bought it. Shinra, I'm the enemy. I don't care. I don't want anyone to die. Please. I'll look after the others. My turn. There's no end to them. Three unauthorized passengers successfully control neutralizing threats. Looks like you're right, soldier boy. Screw this. <clears throat> The station will be crawling with security. We gotta jump. Screw that! We need to slow the train down. Sounds like a big plan E. <laughs> Oh, shit. 
You ready? Ready. Here we go. You're done. Sure, we had them, didn't you? Sir! Born survivors, is surats. Speaking of which, where's the third? In custody, sir. Return it to the wild. Yes, sir. Right away. Da 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 
It would have been a straight shot to the reactor. Didn't work out, but we knew going in we had to have alternatives. Backup plans in case we had to get off Earth. From closer in to further out, B, C, D, and so on. Up to what? To E. Lucky us. Yeah! <laughs> You're damn right. Anyway, we were riding the train between Sector 4 and the main pillar when we had to bail out. And we ended up on the adjacent line, which should take us to Reactor 5. That's right. So for now, we follow the tracks. Not too far, though. Need to switch to a different route before we hit the station. Because you can bet your ass it's going to be crawling with security. All on high alert. Let's move. Our friends in Sector 5 mark the route, so don't worry about getting lost. It's a straight shot to victory, people! All we gotta do is take it! You have nothing to worry about, sir. Preparations for the grand finale are proceeding without incident. I have the utmost confidence that everything will play out as you intended. Yes, of course. I will not fail you, sir. <sighs> sir, analytics reports that the results fall within the admissible range. However, the casualty rate significantly exceeds previous projections. Ah. Remind me what your job is. Is it to question the wisdom of your superiors and bemoan your personal hardships? Sir? Huh. Casualty rate. You think I care about the casualty rate? They're pawns in a greater game. If your stock runs low, then go round up more for Sector 3 or wherever else. Use your head and bring me solutions instead of problems for a change, yes? Sir. It's so hard to find good help these days. Which is why the president ought to count his blessings. What would he do without me? Time comes, remember, we just gotta follow the nose. What? Stamp's nose. We look for graffiti, then head in whichever direction its nose points. But pay attention to railway signals, too. You see blue lights, you go in the right direction. Should be easy. Get ready. Going in. Let's finish this. Follow the blue lights and we'll reach the reactor. Biggs is way ahead of us. Jesse was gonna back him up, so it wouldn't surprise me if he needs our help. So let's not keep him waiting. Give them hell! I got this! Want some more? Ah! You're gonna feel this one! 
hard to take pride in that. put up all that stamp graffiti. Without it, we'd be lost for sure. Won't be tough. Of course not! <laughs> Yeah. 
It's on now. Going in. I know it's done here, but I gotta kill all these nasty ass boys. Those things really creep me out. A train's gonna get derailed by them one of these days. Shouldn't we should do something? After an accident, they will. When it's too late, then. <laughs> Be damned if I'm going through that. Gotta look somewhere else. We've compiled our report on Avalanche's combat capabilities and our- <clears throat> Report, report, report! What good do you think a damn report will do anyone? I don't... Have you already forgotten the war with Wu Tai? An enemy spared is an enemy who will repay your kindness with blood. We must crush them thoroughly and completely, without hesitation or mercy. Shinra cannot, and will not, settle for anything less! Will you? But... but sir... If so, I can only assume that you and your men no longer wish to serve in your current positions. Is that correct? We'll prepare the prototype in Section E for immediate deployment. Right now, dammit! Another day, another victory. How do I do it? <laughs> Thank you. 
Gotta love the irony of Shinra's smarmy lapdog leading the way to its master's destruction. You really don't like Stan, do you, Barry? It's not that I hate him. I hate the fact that Shinra took a loyal animal like that and co-opted it for their own self-serving agenda. Poor old Stan. Knock it down. You're starting to sound like Baron. Never mind. It's a good plan. Hey, hold up. This way. Security is a lot tighter than I thought it would be. If they want to stay between us and the rail yard, that's their choice. Get away this time! Here we go. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Stop it! Stop it! Right. Assholes, 
idea. That's that. Enough. That it? Is it?
This won't do. Sir, analytics reports that the feed went down after an anomaly was registered during the test. An anomaly? Or an excuse for your failure to properly prepare the armor? No, sir. All modules were confirmed fully operational. It's far more likely, given the circumstances, that the sensors were overloaded. <sighs> Is that so? All the sensors in Section E are inoperable. President. Yes. Yes. Yeah, everything is fine, sir. Better, even. There's been a development. Yes. Understood, sir. We know exactly where they were headed. If the armor is intact, then you'd best determine the nature of this anomaly soon. <laughs> hmm. Should you fail to do so, you will deal with our intruders personally. Uh, yes, sir. Don't worry. I treat my people more than fairly. So don't disappoint me. <laughs> the passages beyond these shipping containers. Let's slip through them. Talk about a tight squeeze! You okay? Yeah. So, you bump into any giant robots like that in Reactor 1? Yeah, except a bastard looked like a scorpion. Speaking of which, what would you say that last one looked like? Huh? Uh, well... Hmm. Looks dead now. Lo and behold. All aboard. Just so you know, it's not going to get any easier. <laughs> when did it ever? straight on to Reactor 5. You make it sound so simple. <laughs> Only because it is. That there's the Reactor Support Pillar. So what's the plan? After Plan E comes F, G, and then H. <sighs> Thought E was the last. <laughs> this here is Section F. We cut through Section G and head for H. A cargo platform in H will get us closer to the reactor. Biggs should be somewhere over there. Looks like the sun's going down on Midgar. Right. Double time. We got a date with the reactor. Hmm. <laughs> Thank you. 
<laughs> Nothing but air below us. Shut up and move. Don't look down, okay? Easy for you to say. Section G's through here, huh? This ought to open it. No good? Needs power, I think. That looks more like what we need. Control room. Let's check it out. Maybe no one uses that entrance. I'm getting the feeling no one's come down here for a long time. No plate inspectors, huh? Doesn't look good. Think it works? Instructions for dealing with a power shortage. Kill the lights, and we free up power for the gate and other stuff. Sun lamps. You think these are the plate suns? The closest thing we have to the real thing. Gotta put out a sun just to open a gate, huh? But if we go through with it, the grounders in Sector 4 will suffer. Now or later, sun's going out for good when we blow the reactor. That's true. Let's go. All these lamps. You'd think they'd be able to balance the load by now, though. Maybe. If the maintenance guys or whoever weren't playing hooky. The lamps are important, but when you think how much Mako it must take to keep them running. That's gotta be one. Man, look at the size of it. That a console I see near the top of that ladder. They, uh, pretty tall that too. I'll go. Okay, we'll wait down here. Supply confirmed. Disengaging locking mechanisms. Okay, that's that. <laughs> Great job, Cloud. Next stop, Section G. Yep. And after that, Reactor 5. <gasps> Not again. Great. I'm sure those things will welcome us just as warmly as before. <laughs> Tell you what, the rot runs deep in this damn pizza.
They busted? Powered down, is my guess. Lucky us, am I right? One less thing for us to worry about. with their shit. Monsters sure seem to like it. What's up with that? It's like in the tunnels. They get twisted by the Mako, but it all goes back to shit. You okay? Yeah. Ha! Ah, going for that material, weren't you? So close, and yet so far. <sighs> this path's no good now. I'm sure there's another way to get there. Hmm. Nothing we can do but search. And when we find it, we can finally snag that material. Right. Yeah, and to reach Mako Reactor 5, we need to go through Section H. Okay. Unfortunately, I didn't spot a connecting catwalk to Section H, did you? Well, we could always do another lap. Go for 10, why don't you? The only other route that I can think of would be... Along the wall. Up for giving it a try? It might not work out, but it's the only idea I've got. It's not a bad one. So we're shooting for those giant fans way over there? Okay. At least we've got a clear landmark to guide us. Those ventilation fans? Keeping the plates air clean by pushing the smog into the slums. Whole system's designed to make shit roll downhill faster. This is 
what you want. Get ready. All set. Getting really sleepy. Those gloves up. Sure thing, coach. Onto that pipe. Sure seems that way. No fear, no fear. Yeah, no fear, no fear. No fear, no fear. No fear, little fear. Hey guys, uh, you know, these fans are really loud and. You chickening out? Hell no! I'm just worried that your bony ass is gonna get blown off the side and shit! Enough! We gotta keep moving! Okay then! Follow me! <laughs> no worse than a windy day, huh? One with a tornado warning, maybe? Don't look at the fan! Whatever you do! Right! Just up ahead. Slow and steady, guys. And that's our objective? The cargo platform? Yeah, I'm pretty sure that's the one. This is it. The cargo platform Biggs was talking about. Let's not keep him waiting. Power. You're kidding me. Needs three lights worth, looks like. But that's... That's all of them, isn't it? All or nothing. Let's regroup here if we get lost. Remember the H1 sign. Right. Let's see now. Closest light ought to be... That one. By the light of these magnificent lamps, 
We shall lead our brothers and sisters of the Undercity to a brighter future. Say what? It's from a speech President Shinra gave, talking up the importance of the Sun Lamps. Tch, brighter future, my ass. Shinra's leading us down a one-way path to darkness and death. We need to disable a lamp first. One down. Only two more lights to go. Reinitializing intrusion prevention system. Intrusion prevention? Back online because of us. <laughs> no need to fret, y'all. A few rusty mechs ain't gonna keep us from reaching the reactor. Thank mm -hmm. you. 
makes two lights down. Meaning we've only got one left. The end in sight, y'all. Should be able to climb down from here. This a hole, right? That the Sector 4 slums down there? Huh? You want to check them out sometime? I can show you around. We'll check them out now if we fall. System service mode active. Access maintenance terminal to complete procedure. system to maintenance mode. Please complete the maintenance access procedure within the designated time limit. Man, what are we even doing? Gonna take you all out! One all right. by one, we are all done! Yeah. It's on now! Yeah! 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 
give up. Yeah. Summoning material. Wow. What kind of badass will pop out of this one? We'll see. We had to wander around so much. Well, no stamps here to guide us. No Jesse or Wedge to back us up either. Yeah. Speaking of which, what should we tell Biggs? I don't want him to worry. Last one. 
going in. What? Time to get serious. That was sloppy. You damn right it was! Heads up, y'all. If there's no viable path, we'll just have to make one. It's their job. Get ready. No holding back. Enough to finally get our cargo platform moving. Better be. Okay, let's head on back to the H1 sign. I hope that Jesse's injury isn't anything serious. The best thing you can do to speed her recovery is to kick Shinra ass in her stead. I know, I know. And Cloud's got a cover for Wedge, too. When do we 
link up with Bates. Soon enough, don't you worry. He knew we might be late, so he came up with a few ways to kill time. We ought to reach him long before he dies aboard. And we're back at the cargo platform. Get ready, Marco Reactor 5. We're coming. Auxiliary power supply confirmed. Reactivating cargo platform. Cargo platform activated. Awaiting input. <laughs> so long, underplate. I hate you too. I wonder what the reactor's like. Dumb. Dismal. A slaughterhouse where they put to the planet. <laughs> then there's the smell. The Mako. Be ready for it. Right. Hear that, guys? It's the reactor callers. Back in the nurse saying, bring it on, Alabama. Intruders detected. Engaging countermeasures. Let's do this. Shit.
Let's try that again. Sorry. Let's do this. It's over. Keep it together. Yes, it's my turn. Ain't no thing. It comes. Better keep my balance. You'd be good at it. <laughs> I wonder. Almost there. <sighs> Tifa? It's nothing. Just thinking about the next step. Didn't think I'd be this nervous. Some things you never get used to. Jesse and Wedge. Report. Topside's going nuts after some terrorists jumped off a train. Nice and quiet here, though. So quiet I had no trouble securing your route into the reactor. You magnificent son of a bitch! Bring it in! <laughs> so, where are Come the others? On, man. Jesse got hurt and couldn't make it. Bad? Not so bad she couldn't rope in this guy. Thanks for stepping up. It's a job. Worked out pretty good. You picking that train you did. While Shinra scours Sector 4, you can waltz right on into Sector 5. It's a bit of a squeeze, but it ought to get you where you need to go. A little dark and foreboding for my taste. Beggars can't be choosers. Oh, and you'll be needing your grappling guns, of course. All set? Ready to take on the world and then some. Make sure everyone gets clear, okay? Will do. <laughs> okay, y'all. Keep these grappling guns close. <laughs> Secure them to your belt or whatever so you don't lose them. When we're done, we'll be using these babies to get down safe. All of us. Got it. <sighs> A bit more. More to maybe. the left. The left. Wait. Hurry it up. Fix those <laughs> lights. Excuse me, sir. Your tie. Quickly now. Quickly. Hmm.
This place reeks of Mako. Looks like we made it. Layout's the same as Reactor 1. Yeah. We're near Mako storage. Let's move. ways from Sunday. Mechanized units like these were designed to take out giant monsters. Probably a new prototype. If they do decide to deploy it, then our best bet would be to run like hell. Oof. Then let's hope he sleeps through the explosion. Yeah. 
Soldier boy. Tifa. What? How much time we need? Got all the time in the world. This one comes with a remote detonator. Courtesy of Jesse. We withdraw to a safe distance. Then, kaboom! Safe distance? What? No such thing. <laughs> we get out the same way we got in. Let's double back. Perfect timing. Wait a minute. Is someone watching us? Of every soul in Midgar. Huh? What 
is this? Breaking news from Mako Reactor 5. Shinra has confirmed the reactor to be the target of the bomb threat issued by the terrorist group Avalanche. <laughs> Members of the group were observed entering the facility, and security is currently sweeping it for explosive devices. We now go live to the scene. I'm here in the Sector 5 Undercity. Having confirmed the terrorist target, you guys the Shinra Emergency happens? Operations Center has issued an evacuation advisory. Residents are outraged that the tragedy of Mako Reactor 1 was only the first attack in a campaign of violence. President Shinra has issued a statement providing assurances that the terrorists will soon be brought to justice. And so, to a people beset by chaos and uncertainty, we will offer the finest comfort, bread and service. The big boy. I give you Shinra's latest triumph of technology. The Air Buster, your executioner. Huh? <laughs> Engineering on the line. Currently, the Air Buster is only 60% operational. The estimates were optimistic. I'm on air! <laughs> to the imbecile in charge down there. You are here by order to seize those intruders and bring them to me. But quietly or there'll be trouble! I refuse You are the first of the We played right into Shinra's hands. Yeah, and that bullshit news is already better than false narrative. So we're screwed. No, 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 hell no! Listen, they want to turn this into a spectacle? Then I say let's give them one. Let's take down Shinra's big ass neck in front of everybody. Okay, I'm sold. Subdue the insurgents and bring them to the command center right now! Attention all security forces! Subdue the insurgents and bring them to the command center immediately! I repeat! Subdue the insurgents and bring them to the command center right now! Ready, sir. Component outbound from B8. Copy, B8. Intruder! Take him out! <laughs> All right, see ya. <laughs> See what these bastards were up to. Barrett, Cloud, over here. It looks like a few of its components are still in transit. <laughs> we'll see about that. Could tamper a little with its loadout. And give ourselves an edge? There should be a console somewhere. 
This the console you talking about? Think you can get it to work? Needs a key card. Well, let's find it then. Find it? Yeah. Good job. Now let's check out that console. M units, huh? I'm guessing that's some sort of component? Yep. An enhancement powered by liquefied materia. Sounds bad. Pretty sure I can divert this unit for disposal. Heidegger's got no idea who he's messing with. So far, so good. Right. Let's move. You think they're watching us? Even now? Yep. Probably got a live feed. Nothing we can do about it. Except smile for the folks at home. Time to kick your ass and take names! Outbound for B7. Copy. We've lost contact with B8. Send some men to check it out. We've got a schedule to keep. Huh. Intruders! Seize them! Engineering, this is the That's right. Negative B7. Airlock the present priority. You're on the road. Let's be enough. <laughs> And we'll deal with you ourselves! Looks like there's two consoles this time. Huh. Double the seven tough. And we can find the key cards. Error. Key card required for operation. Cards? Just the one. Two choices. And only one single-use card. It's up to you, Cloud. What does an AI programming core do? Increases processing power dedicated to motor function computation. Makes it move real quick. A real quick giant robot, huh? That doesn't sound good. Anyway, we should weigh our options carefully. Console talks about big bomber shells. You acquainted? We call them BBs. 
One's enough to blow you to hell and back. Could divert them and give it a couple less shots to take us out. Make the call. AI programming cores help it move faster, right? Divert it or not. Programming core flag for disposal. I was thinking the same thing. So where did we send the discarded stuff? To a storeroom for defective equipment. I'm guessing. That's so. You think these defective shells and programming cores might be valuable enough to warrant a little detour? Maybe. I say we grab them. Hmm. If we get that far. Everything Shinra has told you is a goddamn lie. Marco is the lifeblood of our planet. Those greedy bastards are bleeding it dry. Y'all gotta rise up. Barrett, who are you talking to? The people. Put me on TV, I'm gonna drop some truth. A thousand Gil says they cut the sound. Get ready. Find any cards? Only one. And this time we've got three choices. Take your pick. Feel like scrapping some BBs? Hurry up and decide what you want to get rid of. It's past time we taught Shinra a lesson. Shell flag for disposal. Just imagine in their faces when they find out. Hell is this? Immunity. 
another type of enhancement. You'll call if you want to nix it. AI programming core. Hmm. What are you thinking, Cloud? Should we get rid of it? Programming core flat for disposal. That should slow them down some. Tell you what, I ain't never look forward to an execution more in my entire life. <laughs> <laughs> you don't say. We're about to make fools out of Shinra while the whole damn city's watching. <laughs> Times like these, you gotta save her. Oh no, if you're about to ask me to dance, then don't. Come on, don't be shy. How about you, Cloud? I don't dance. Let's see what kind of... Four consoles. And never enough key cards. An AI programming core. Should we discard this or something else? Core flat for disposal. Heidegger's not gonna like that.
Big bomber shells. We should divert them if you think it'll improve our odds. Big bomber shell flag for disposal. Served all right. Think we've done enough to weaken the robot? All that we can, at least. It's all good. The stage is set. All that's left is to hijack Heidegger's show. We're coming up on the exit. Tifa, detonator still in range. We should be good. The moment Big Boy goes down, you hit that switch. Right. Mow him down. Lucky I started. <laughs> 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 didn't prepare. Now we just gotta get it done. Report. We're short on AI groups, but tracking down replacements. Work faster, or you'll hear it from the brass. <clears throat> Look, they're still prepping it. They're here. Hold them back. Buy us every second you can. You're dead, me. Let's go. <laughs> <laughs> 
subtle imitation. We were gonna bring it back in. Marlene. That goes for you too, Cloud. Right? You better give her a big old smile this time. If the price is right. <laughs> Get it open? Yeah, from that room over there. Why does everything have to be so damn complicated? You know, the faulty equipment storerooms that way, too. Do you think we'll find the components we diverted there? It's like a treasure vault. Woo! I like the sound of that. So, how do we do this? It's simple, really. We move the levers at the same time. Got these ones. I'll take left. Which just leaves right, soldier boy. Emergency lockdown is currently in effect. So we need to synchronize our movements? In that case, follow my lead. Nah, Tifa's. Fine, have it your way. Okay, pay attention, you two. Three, two, one. Uh! Watch carefully. Shake it off. Three, two, one. Emergency lockdown disengaged. Gotcha! Now that is what I call teamwork. Go team. What y'all got tucked away in that lock, huh? This would be the treasure vault? That's right. What's the catch? You need to bypass a high-level security lock. Different from the other one? Same deal. But we gotta do it several times. <laughs> Tight wad. But hearing that just makes me wanna rob him more. Yeah, let's stick it to him. Delta level security lockdown is currently in effect. Okay, guys. You know what we have to do. Copy me? No, Tifa leads. Oh, fine. After you, girl. Gotta get past level one first, right? Three, two, one. Ah! Try to match my timing, okay? Focus. Three, two, one. Alpha level security disengaged. 
That was great, you guys. Let's keep it up. All right. Three, two, one. Data level security disengaged. Wow! Think we've got this? Hell yeah! Bring it on! Ain't nothing I love more than sticking it to shit. Halfway there. Steady, guys. Three, two, one. Ah! Um, breathe when I breathe. We got this. Three, two, one. Gamma level security. Disengage. No way! <laughs> you guys are naturals. Okay, final round. Don't lose focus. Three, two, one. Delta level security. Disengaged. Disposal room now accessible. Take that, Shinra! Making us jump through hoops to steal your shit. Didn't take as long as I expected. Good work, guys. Likewise. You made it easy. <laughs> I put my heart and soul into those countdowns. Well done, this only wolf. I say take everything that ain't held down. make you a soldier. X soldier. Once a soldier, always a soldier. Though not, alas, for very long. Accelerated cellular degradation being the most common cause of death by far. This is classified, of course, but every soldier knows the truth. That's right. Thank you for getting someone! Would that I could. You strike me as the type to go on without air. Ain't enough hours in the day to hold you to account for all your crimes. And what a wasteful indulgence it would be, even if there were. Okay then. Let's talk about wasteful indulgences. What is Marco? The life stream. The lifeblood of the planet. Our planet. But Shinra keeps on slurping it up like a thirsty dog. What do you think's gonna happen if you don't stop, huh? Hmm. We do indeed keep on slurping it up, as you say. But for whose benefit, I wonder. The true nature of Mako is known to one and all, yet the people willfully turn a blind eye to the cost. As you must surely be aware, 
Don't you dare try to put this on us! If anyone's going along with your plans, it's cause you brainwashed them! Such methods are beneath me. As are you, my faithful sewerettes. Henceforth, allies of wicked Wutai, our sworn enemy. Thank you for stoking our people's patriotic fervor. Wutai! The hell we are! <laughs> you still don't understand your role in this! What are they doing? Don't you see? You fools were never in control! Never anything but pawns in our plans to sell great and glorious war to the people! And your instruments of insurrection will detonate! Uh. When we so choose! God damn it! Now let us raise the curtain on our main event!
Timber! Just make sure you got my back, all right? And get out of here! I... I was wrong about you. This ain't the end of the line for you or me. Cloud! Come on! Hey buddy. hey buddy, you okay? You okay? 
Yeah. Made it through with just a couple of scraped knees back then. Back then? What do you say? Are we doing this? Have we? Never mind about that. Right now, you need to focus on yourself. Move something. Anything. Why not? Good. Easy does it. Slow. And steady. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> hey. Uh, who are you? <laughs> who are you? I am your everything. There's still so much to be done. Maybe you're not okay. <sighs> ah, he lives. Finally awake, are we? You're... Aerith. It's Aerith. And you are? Cloud. Nice to meet you again. Again, huh? What? You don't remember? What about the flowers? Oh, the flower girl. And this is... An old church in the Sector 5 slums. You came crashing through the roof without so much as a lookout below. <laughs> Fell right into my flower bed. Lucky for you. Like, really? Oh, oh, s sorry, I, I didn't mean to- Don't worry about it. They're a lot tougher than they look. This place, it has a kind of power. Before I forget, you dropped this when you landed. Thanks. I've got one, too. You, and everybody and their mother. Not like mine, no. It's special. Mine's not good for anything at all. Bet you just don't know how to use it. Could be. Though, I really don't mind. Just having it is enough. It was a gift from my mother. Pretty crazy, huh? Us meeting again like this. You should stay a while. <gasps> really? You will? In that case... Huh? I'll see myself in. Thanks. <clears throat> and who are you? He's my bodyguard. And a soldier. Pretty cool, huh? Huh? A soldier? Ex-soldier. Well, what do you know? You've got the eyes, at least. <laughs> you don't mind, do you? Bodyguard work's not too different from merc stuff, right? Huh? Uh, I guessed. From the sword. Just do this for me, okay? Fine, but it'll cost you. A lot. A lot, huh? One date ought to do it. Huh? Huh. Well, you're weird enough to be one. What class? <laughs> First. <laughs> if you're gonna bullshit me, at least try to make it believable. <laughs> 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 Watch the flowers! You heard the lady. <laughs> 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 I'll make this quick. You better. <laughs> Bye, All right. huh? You know I'm first to right. Really? That's one. <laughs> this is the first I've done this? Because it was just if I thought I don't think that makes sense. <laughs>
I'll go first. Come on. Nothing! Up there! You okay? Probably. Or maybe not. If there's so much as a scratch on her, you're done. Sir! We bring her in, in one piece. <laughs> what now? <laughs> Run! <laughs> Move it, I'll shoot! Oh no, you won't. But sir! Could drop that. Okay. What's the hold up? I can't get to her. They're in the attic. Should we pursue? Got it. We are out. <clears throat> Beginner's luck. More of those things. It's like they're guiding us. Stay close. <gasps> so cool. Stay ahead of them. Prep for Exfil. Or not. <sighs> they gone? Yeah, I think so. What are they? I think... Actually... I don't know. Let's just go. Okay. Up for crossing the rooftops? See that pillar over there? There's a station right by it. Shall we mosey on over? Let's. So, what's next for you? A little bit of bodyguard work. <laughs> right. After that, it's back to the Sector 7 slums. You know how to get there? Yep. Of course you do.
That suit from earlier. He was one of Shinra's Turks. What's a Turk want with you? Dunno. Hey, don't Turks keep an eye out for potential soldiers and stuff? They do more than just scout for candidates. Turks get called in to handle all kinds of situations, with extreme prejudice. <laughs> Professional bad guys. Gotta love them. Back to my question. So what's he to you? Looked like you knew each other. Maybe he thought I could be the greatest soldier yet. Forget it. Hmm? You mad? Careful. Not a lot of room. Gotcha. Thanks. before be surprised if you had it's honestly kind of exciting well first time and all the words of a soldier candidate? So petty. No one live in these buildings? Nope. No one to get mad if we make noise. Looks kind of rusty. I'll go first. It's pretty old. Be careful. Okay. <laughs> Easy now. You worry too much. I'm not some princess who needs to be coddled. Shit. Thank you, Cloud. <sighs> ah, there it is. The wall. You know, I thought about leaving once, but in the end, I couldn't. Too dangerous? Too much. A whole world bursting with life. Maybe more than I can handle, I think, sometimes. Even now. People hate the steel sky, the slums, but I don't. How could I? All that passion, all those dreams, flowing and blending together into something greater. first. After all, I can't count on you to wait. Sure about this? See for yourself. Hmm, maybe I'll go on ahead and leave you all by your lonesome. Just... Ah! Maybe you shouldn't talk. Then you talk. Tell me a story. Not for free. Cheapskate, you're... Ah! 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 Oh. Gotcha. You're killing me here. <laughs> here goes nothing. Woo! Uh. Huh. <laughs> 
You good? <laughs> of course. Never a dull moment with you. That a compliment? Uh... Not really. <laughs> Thanks anyway. We're getting closer to the station. Even so, we'll probably run into a few monsters on the way. Hmm. Huh. There's a face that screams, so what? Eh. I fought scarier things in my sleep. Look out, Cloud! All right. Yes. <laughs> Allow me. Enough. Someone looks like they're in their element. Get back. I can fight too, you know. If you would all just please calm down. Hey, what the hell's going on? Come on, there's no need to shout. Popular place. Yeah, well, it's got a good view of the reactor. <laughs> it's on fire! Ain't a show. They know that. Don't worry. Oh, didn't expect to see you here. On your way home from the church? That's right. Well, I'm glad you're okay. Did any debris hit the church? Not debris, no. That's something at least, but you may not be so lucky next time.
Deck is all clear! Rope's good! Go! Pull him up! Another Turk. A real man on a mission. On the hunt, more like. For me? For you? Don't know. Don't care. Then, let's stick to the back streets? Ah. There will be monsters. Better than Shinra. There's a Shinra dump site up ahead. Not the kind of place anyone would ever choose to hang around in. A great place to lay low. They've got the run of it. Here we go. Enough. Monsters instinctively target weaker prey. Hmm. You'd better watch out then, Cloud. Let's do this. That'll do. Get him! Some construction, but quit halfway. around too, so... Hmm, wonder if we can move this.
part of the slums. <laughs> Fair ways off. Well, we did take a detour. Getting tired? No. Me, I'm feeling a bit hungry. How about you? Amazed. You're in for a treat when we make it back. Don't have time for that. You'll want to make time for my mom's cooking. And that's the final word on it. We'll get home quick and eat ourselves stupid. Yes, I got it. Right. I'm coming. Here it comes. This one's for you. Shit. <sighs> Moving on then. Maybe there's a way to get over it? For you. Yeah, that should do the trick. find a way. Yes, we're home free. No need for thanks. I'd rather get paid. Hmm? You're getting paid right now. Hmm? Huh? Oh. Should 
be able to relax a little now. Don't forget about the Turks. Ah. Could come at us any time. Uh, Keep an eye out. Station. I'm glad I moved here, but. Huh? <sighs> so, do you think this means another war? The Sector coming? Five slugs are right there. God, I'm so What are they watching? Uh, hey! Hey, hey! My lights have been on the. I made a first roll of the tire. Gramps has been feeling a lot better ever since he heard about I'm standing inside the gutted shell of Mako Reactor 5. They're working for Wu Tai, isn't it obvious? There's still a lot of smoke rising from the rubble. So they don't have to break the While fallen beams and other debris continue to hinder rescue efforts, the fires appear to have been mostly extinguished. If we help catch the bombers, we get a reward or something. Uh, that's the director of Shinra's advanced weaponry hey, division, isn't enough it? Enough of that doom and gloom. Excuse me, ma'am, but, but would you mind answering here. a few questions? No. Uh, They're targeting reactors. No uh, can you give us any updates on the status smoke. of the reactor? So what kind of damage did it suffer in the explosion? Are we in any danger? <sighs> Mako Reactor 5 has been temporarily shut down, and all fires have been successfully extinguished. The situation is under control, and the people of our fair city need not worry about any additional complications. We're in the process of conducting a full forensic investigation, but we suspect the device used was similar to that employed in the attack on Mako Reactor 1. The perpetrators of that atrocity were filmed making their escape. These agents of the eco-terrorist group Avalanche are currently believed to be in hiding somewhere in Midgar. And uh, given that this group has now attacked two reactors in quick succession, can they really be stopped before they strike again? What do you think? Uh, well, uh... <laughs> Have no fear. Shinra will keep Midgar safe. Okay, time's up! All right, let's go. Why the hell would anyone do that? and fight against anyone Man, I can't decide oh, what, what my timing honey. mind lending me a hand place is really helping huh nice side effect of the train really situation so what do you say I'd love to but I help out every now and then it's fun Eris well well what are you doing all the way up there? Was trying to get a look at the reactor. Who's this guy? This is Cloud. He's a mercenary. And currently my bodyguard. That's Oats. See you. Two peas in a pod. What are you guys up to? We all went to see the reactor. Oh, that's right. You're supposed to come by the house. Uh, what for? I don't know. You're just supposed to. Well, guess we have a new destination. I should probably explain. The Leaf House is the local orphanage. That's where all these kids live. Hey, Aerith, where'd you go? The church again? Next time, we should all go together. Why, hello, Aerith. As popular as ever, I see. Apparently, but they sure keep me on my toes. <laughs> uh, better than being bedridden. Thanks again for all those herbs. You've helped a lot of people. No problem. Anytime. How'd you manage to find so many anyway? <laughs> oh, I have my ways. And him? He's my bodyguard, just until I get home. And you're sure he's up to it? Hmm, maybe. Since I'm so generous, I gather medicinal herbs for his patients sometimes. Yep. Here's the leaf house. Hey, Do you want one of these? There you are. We're back! And we brought Aerith with us! Sorry to make you come out here. Don't be. It's on my way home. Well then, I hope you won't mind me asking for some flowers. 
No problem. How many? All you can carry. What with all the doom and gloom we've been hearing on the news recently, I thought some flowers might help cheer everyone up. I'm sure they will, and I'd love to help. Let's all wash up before our meal. As tall as the sky! So, Cloud, what's your favorite flower? They're all the same to me. Huh. You sure you want to say that to a florist? Better than lying. Okay. Then what'd you do with the flower I gave you? I, uh... You give it away? I did. Ooh, to who? Tell me. Don't recall. Hmm... What? Thought you didn't like lying. <sighs> well, anyway. My house is just up this path. Mom should be home by now, so I'll introduce you. There you go. That's my house. It's amazing. <laughs> Up to no good? Rude came by. So, this is my mom, Elmira. And this is Cloud, my bodyguard. Uh, hi. Take good care of her? That's my job. Or was my job. Yep, thanks. So, Cloud, you gonna head back to Sector 7? Yeah. Then I'll show you the way. And why'd you have me bring you here? What if the Turks show up again? It'd suck, but I've dealt with them before. Honestly, I'm much more worried about you. What if you get lost, huh? You'd be too embarrassed to admit it, and so you'd just keep on going. Quit acting like you know me. Hey, Mom. I'm gonna go take Cloud over to Sector 7, okay? <sighs> okay. But why not wait until tomorrow? If you head out now, it'll be dark when you get back. Better to rest up here and make the trip first thing in the morning. When you'll have daylight to spare. That's true. She's got a point, Cloud. Hold up. Oh, yeah. I still need to deliver some flowers to the Leaf House. Since we have a little time before dinner, you should come with. That wasn't the deal. You mean you want more? Even though you've got a priceless reward coming your way, do you know what I promised him? I'll do it. <laughs> I'll go grab the baskets. Be right back. <sighs> that Aerith. She's a handful, isn't she? It must be tough. No, never mind.
take this one. Huh? Uh. Take it. Uh. Uh. Hmm. Uh. Right. Off we go. <sighs> and these right here are my babies. Do you think we should pick any of them? Oh, don't be like that. I know you have an eye for this kind of thing. That's the one I gave you. Huh, it is nice try, mister. You can't fool me. I think we still need a few more. Which should we pick next? Whoa, foxtails, huh? I gotta hand it to you, I never would have thought of that. It'll definitely take them by surprise. She said, as many as you can carry, so maybe a few more? Good eye. People used to give these to declare their loyalty to one another. Interesting, right? I think we're good now. What do you say? Shall we go? under the gun or anything. I'm not cut out for this crap. Sure you are. And when you're done, you'll be drowning in job offers. So, how do you think they'll arrange these flowers? Don't know. Well, we'll soon find out. Wait out here. Oh, okay. But I might be a while. Why not check out the town? Anytime. He promised to take Cloud. To see the reactor. I understand you must be busy, but I hope you haven't forgotten about my research. with the most fascinating theory. Perhaps you can lend me your assistance in gathering data to test it? Cloud, I have the most amazing news. I believe I might know how to develop summoning materia, something heretofore thought impossible. Scientists say that this materia can only be found in nature, but I may just be able to prove otherwise. And so, Cloud, I turn to you. I would like to test this theory by way of my combat simulator. To wit, I want you to fight and defeat summon data in VR. I sense that you find my phrasing to be somewhat... obtuse. Hmm. 
Please let me know when you have made your preparations. Wonder if I'd get in trouble if I went on my that I'm grateful for all of your help thus far. I've done it! I've developed a new materia! to receiving all of your future battle intel submissions. You won't oh stop God, telling us stories is. about that damn... No. Oh, oh. 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 Is something wrong? You could say that. Sounds like someone spooked the kids. Yeah, two of them disappeared. They ran away after this creepy guy wearing black clothes showed up. A Turk? That's what I thought, but no. It's this guy who's always stumbling around town in a dirty robe full of holes. They say he's sick or something. Oh, and he had some kind of number tattooed on his arm. I don't like the sound of this. I'm gonna check it out. I know someone who fits that description. I'll come with. Okay. Come on. Isn't this good? Don't give up! Please! No. But I'm scared of the doggy. It'd be great if they asked us again. Because of the money? Or because you paid to be on TV again. A couple of drinks out, man. Hinges on my front door are too goddamn squeaky. You won't stop telling us stories about that damn reactor. Come on. I know this place is off limits to grown-ups, but if we want to rescue them, well, we gotta break the rules. come to help. Yeah, leave it to us. We'll take care of it from here. But there are monsters out there. Don't worry. I've brought a super strong friend along with me. I used to be a soldier. So where's the guy? I don't know. He disappeared and we can't find him. Right now, let's worry about the kids. Come on. Pretty flower. Pretty blue flower. Won't you talk to me? You guys have got to hurry and find our friends, okay? They ran off this way. Be careful. Where do you think they went? Who knows? They're kids. Nothing to do but look all over. I just hope we find them in time. That's that. <sighs> Moving on then. Leave this to me. I don't think so. Enough. <laughs> Was never in doubt. Ah, there they are. And they're not alone. So... No holding back. 
That's that. <laughs> it's over. That's that. <laughs> Nothing to it. You sure you want to fight? Go on! Quickly, we gotta save them. All right. Soldier. He was? 
you go fight in the war? I might have. Get back. I can fight too, you know. That wasn't so bad. I'm gonna grow up to be a soldier like you. You can't just grow up to be a soldier. You gotta work at it. Cloud thinks I'm good enough to be one, right? Look at you, Mr. Popular. That was so cool, you guys. Especially that, oh, yeah! Yeah, it was really cool when you went like, yeah, yeah! You've got it all wrong. Like that. No way, it was way faster than that. Yeah, yeah, like that. Fine, then how about, yeah, yeah, yeah. like that. Isn't that right, Cloud? Right, Cloud? Tifa? What's wrong? Nothing. Is Tifa like your girlfriend? No. Hmm, but she's someone special. It's not like that. More like... I don't know how to explain. I see. Thank you. From now on, if you run into trouble, promise me you'll find an adult, okay? Okay, I will. And here, since you're so cool, you guys are both grown-ups, but you're also one of us now. You can come and play here whenever you want. Similar. Huh? There's the number, but why two? Who knows? Come to think. <laughs> the reunion. <laughs> nothing to fear. <laughs> Sephiroth is. Do you? Sephiroth, the war hero? I know he died in an accident five years ago. They said so on the news. Maybe they did. But I've got a feeling he's still alive. Oh, right. 
Come on, let's go. <laughs> Alas, poor prince. I must confess I am not from this planet. Wait! So I heard he came back me. because he got sick or something. Isn't that kind of weird? Can soldiers even get sick? <laughs> hey, Cloud. I know a lot of people around here need help. When I'm out on patrol, a lot of them tell me about their problems. Do you think you might be interested in helping out? Well, I'm all for it. We still have plenty of time. I'm on the clock. Don't worry. I give you permission. I always have the latest information. Come find me if you want to know. Oh my! Is that a Moogle? You can see me, Koopa? Then you two must be very, very special people. In that case, welcome to the Moogle Emporium. I'm the owner, Moggy. You must not be familiar with Mog the Moogle. It's a pretty famous fairy tale. Mog wanted to bring happiness to all the Moogles of the forest, so he decided to open a shop of wonders. That's right, Koopa. I open a store to bring happiness to the slums, like Mog. And you know, only people with the purest of hearts can even see Moogles. Uh, are you talking about me? Well, Moogle magic isn't perfect, Koopa. Anyway, we've collected all kinds of rare and wondrous goods. They can be yours if you've got enough Moogle medals. But you'll need to buy a membership first. If you find any Moogle medals, you can spend them here, Koopa. So, Moggy, what do you do with the medals we give you? Oh, you know what? I use them to make everyone happy. That's the duty of every Moogle. Of course, just like Mog the Moogle. I see you're working hard, Mr. Merc. Yep. So what are you gonna do next? Keep on working hard. As you always do, I'm sure. You know, this is how I earn a living. Huh? Really? I thought you were just doing it for fun. I suppose some people do. Hello some people. Nice to meet you. See anything you like? Until I'm happy. Go on, work your magic. Make me smile. From ear to ear. I'll need a lot more medals, Koopo. Well, that won't do. Come on, Cloud. Let's go get more. Good luck, guys. I'll make sure to tell everyone around that you're here to help out. That way, you might get more work. Soldier, aren't you? Cloud, was it? Former soldier turned problem solver. Are you okay, Miss Folia? You look upset. Uh, yeah, I am pretty upset. 
The kids are still off doing patrols, even though it's now time for their lessons. Not a single one of them has come back yet. Patrols? Is that a leaf house thing? Something they do to help out? That's right. In return for the donations we receive, the kids go around town picking up litter, running errands, that kind of thing. I don't suppose you've seen any of them, have you? Oh. You see, I have some important plans this evening, and I really need to go and get ready. Would you like us to go round them up? Oh, that would be wonderful. There are five of them out on patrol right now. They all wear homemade swords on their backs, so they should be easy to spot. done with the flowers lovely don't you think great job that's wonderful <sighs> isn't it oh I nearly forgot I saw some Shinra suit walking towards your house a little while ago he was dressed all in black a little scary looking on the streets than usual. Maybe because the reactor blew up? Well, you've been keeping a very sharp lookout. But don't you think you're forgetting something important? Oh, Miss Foley of Lessons! I gotta get back to the house! Super important question? I heard bad people broke the Mako reactor, and there's gonna be another war because of it. Is that true? Who knows? But isn't there something else you should be worrying about right now? <gasps> I forgot about Miss Folia's lesson! I gotta head back to the house! I know. You're talking about Walmart, aren't you? Now listen to me. <laughs> Hey there, how goes the patrol? Great, I've been picking up garbage and giving people directions. Plus I helped an old lady cross the street. You've been busy. It's a normal day for me, gotta work hard. The house depends on people's donations. Oh no, I'm late. Did you see Miss Folia? Is she mad? Oh, I gotta go. I'm sorry! Oh, you scared me! Hey there, how goes the patrol? I've been watching them really close. I'm trying to learn all about the business. You want to open up a shop of your own someday? Yeah, so I can earn lots of money and use it to help the house. The teachers don't like to talk about it, but we know the donations aren't enough to keep things running. Uh, but that's a secret, okay? I'm not supposed to tell anyone. Anyway, I gotta go study. Hello, 
Cloud? Sir, it's a real honor to meet you. I think you soldier guys are awesome. I want to be strong and tough when I grow up, too. You sound very determined. These are dangerous times. A reactor blew up and a bunch of kids lost their friends and families. Who knows what might blow up next? I guess that means more children might be coming to the house soon. And I think the teachers are going to have a whole lot more work to do. Speaking of teachers, Ms. Foley is looking for you. Oh man, I completely forgot! I have to get back right now! That's everyone. Let's go back to the house. Hey! Any marks around? Ooh, that form. Yes, that mind taking a look? Oh, Just got in a big old shipment of feathers. Oh, man. Oh, it'd be great if they had... I don't think I know you. I really like... The children finally came back, thanks to you two. You've been a great help. Okay, everyone, come inside. It's time to hit the books. <sighs> you guys, the Toad King's back. I saw him near the hideout. We gotta do something about him. The Toad King? A weird, creepy monster we've seen near the hideout lately. He wears a crown and walks around like he owns the place. If he's not a king, he's gotta be monster royalty at least. I bet a soldier could beat him up easy. Oh, yeah, real easy. But here's the thing. I don't work for free. Or cheap. But we don't have any money! The Watch wouldn't ask for money. But if we ask any other grown-ups for help, they'll find out about the hideout, and that'll be it. We really don't want to lose the hideout. Come on, help us! Oh, and we'll give you some cool treasure if you do. And if that's not enough, I'll pay the rest of your fee once I open my shop. Well, if you won't help, then we'll just have to kill it ourselves. <sighs> I'll do it for three gil. Huh? I'm offering a special discount right now on Toad King jobs. Looks like it's your lucky day. Awesome! Now that's my kind of bargain. I'm sorry we had to give you such a dangerous job, but there's really no one else we could have asked. You're our only hope. I know you can do it. Stop telling a story to him. I can fight too, you know.
Come on. I'm with you. Let's go. Get him. Go on. Go on. No holding back. in doubt. Did you defeat the Toad King? Yep. Kicked his butt real good. Awesome! I knew you could do it! Now we don't have to worry about the King and his smelly friends. Thank you so much! Here, this is for you. The treasure we promised. It's definitely worth at least three gil. Okay, kids. Playtime's over for now. I've prepared a special assignment for everyone. One that I expect you to finish today. Understood? Uh, yes. Yes, Miss Folia. I appreciate you getting rid of the Toad King, by the way. Wow, Miss Folia. You must know all their secrets. Oh, if only. Easier said than done. They're always on the move, looking for new adventures, chasing new dreams. All while trying to make the lives of everyone around them just a little bit better. I try to make sure they don't stumble and fall. And when they finally do, I help them back up. Hmm. Sounds exhausting. <laughs> Sometimes it is. But I want the children to know that until they can stand on their own two feet, that I'm here to support them, care for them, love them. That even if we're not actually related, we're still a family. A real family, in all the ways that matter. If I can do that for them, then, well, then maybe I'm making this world a better place. I know you are. My predecessor taught me everything I know. I just took up his torch and ran with it, I guess. Uh, not that I'm anything close to what he was. Biggs is one of a kind. <gasps> oh no! I've completely lost track of time! Do you have somewhere you need to be? More like a dream I need to fulfill. Thank you again for your help. I wonder what kind of dream she's chasing tonight. No idea. Thanks again for saving our hideout from the king. In return, I let everyone know you guys can join the game as special guests. If you want to know more, then come to the hideout. Don't give it up, please! But I'm scared. 
scared of the doggy. Oh, it'd be great if they asked us again. Should I head home or swing by Walmart? Huh. Get, huh? get your hands well, on the hot new machine parts sitting around. Like said, this Shinra weapons are on the rampage. Five of them, like floating eyeballs. I saw them wander off into the scrap, but if they come back into town, it'd be a disaster. We need someone who's willing and able to fight. Sure. I'll handle it. You will? Oh man, you're the best! I could hear them shouting intruder detected or some other nonsense when they floated off. Be careful, so they look dangerous. I just want to go to bed. We could always run away, Get right? Turning back.
Bones learned their lesson? Furthermore, initial reports confirmed. I heard, I heard, you got them all, right? Robots from the reactor getting lost in the slums. Must be because of the explosion up top, huh? They must have thought they were protecting the reactor and figured I was trespassing on their turf or something. Maybe. Almost feel sorry for them, getting all lost and confused like that. Oh, what am I saying? Man or machine? Shinra bitches get what they deserve. Now hold on. Anyway, I think it's safe to say our work here is finished. If you're ever in the market for a merc again, remember, you can count on Cloud. Uh, sure. And sorry about putting this on you all of a sudden. I'm really glad you were willing to help out, though. Thanks again. Actually, while you're here, I've got another favor to ask. There's this old guy who hangs out in front of the weapons shop. I think he might need your help. Would you mind talking to him? It feels good to help people out, doesn't it? Yeah. You having fun yet? Heaps. Then you can't be afraid to show it more. Don't forget, it's all about service and salesmanship. I'll leave that to you. All right, but don't think you can rely on me forever, mister. Wasn't planning to. That's good. Because I command a very good salary. Oh, I know you. You must be that mercenary. I have a problem. It's the anniversary of my wife's death and I wanted to visit her grave. But I can't because some creatures have turned the graveyard into their nest. Could you do me a favor and go there in my stead? She shouldn't be alone today. It'll cost you. That's fine, that's fine. The graveyard's right by the head of the river. But I heard they put a new gate in recently to replace the old broken one. Now that those creatures have moved in, I'm sure it's locked up tight. Didn't we buy a graveyard key off Moggy? I think we did. Anti Wu sentiment has reached a fever pitch in the city. I've never seen the reactor. I heard there's so many people who need it. Now that things are starting to settle down a bit, we can finally play Whack-A-Box again. It's all thanks to you. Oh yeah, I forgot. There's this tired-looking guy out by the community center, and I heard he was looking for some help. for our favorite game, Whack-A-Box. You want in? It's super fun. The rules are easy. The person who whacks the most boxes is crowned champion of the hideout. We usually don't let adults play, but since you're cool, we're gonna make a special exception just for you. Yes! Oh. Ha! Ha! 
Let's do this. yours, Koopa. The wishes of every single person in the slums. It's a lot of wishes. Lots of people in Midgar love to collect Moogle medals, you know. They'll pay anything to get their hands on more. I'm using the money to set up more shops all throughout the slums, Koopa. I'm giving jobs to the other kids and making life better for everyone here. And that's how I'll make everyone happy. That's one way of doing it, Koopa. And I've got extra happiness for you two. So, what's to stop us from selling directly to these... collectors? Uh... Moogle Magic, Koopa? Next time, keep your plans to yourself. Thanks, you guys! By working together, I know we can make the world a happier place! to be a certain merc that's become the talk of the town. Yep. I'm Damon. Little more than a humble reporter with the daily buzz. Ah, uh, that rag? The one that's always printing awful rumors about the slums? On the contrary, my dear. We strive to raise awareness of the plight of our undercity brethren. We seek a better future for everyone, rich and poor. Now then, my friends, I find myself in need of your exceptional services for a trifling matter. Are you familiar with the mysterious and notorious bandit known as the Angel of the Slums? 
She delivers written declarations to her victims, usually Shinra associates, before divesting them of their valuables. Everyone knows her. Everything she steals, she gives to the poor and needy. Yes, she's got a knack for public relations. Very popular down here as a result. Nevertheless, she is a criminal and a threat to the public order. I've made it my mission to unmask the villain. But the locals have been uncooperative and uncommunicative, to put it mildly. And now that my identity as a reporter has been exposed, my sources have all deserted me. Which brings me to you, the work of the hour, and the man who will serve up my scoop. The guardian angel of the slums? Such a mysterious figure. Always talked about, but never seen by anyone. The angel gets in and out without being noticed and always leaves a calling card. <gasps> Maybe a magician. No, no, it's no magic trick. It's genuine magic. Rumor has it that the angel is a witch. If we're going by rumors, then I've heard that it's actually a monster in disguise. Well, I could talk all day about the dozens of stories I've heard. What? Do I know the guardian angel of the slums? Well, I don't know much, but I do know she doesn't steal from the poor, and she doesn't kill anyone either. Far as I'm concerned, that's all I need to know. If that's not enough for you, the one you ought to talk to is Marae. Ask anyone, and they'll tell you she knows everything about everyone around here. I hear all these stories about a muscle. What's that? The guardian angel of the slums? Come to think of it, a reporter came sniffing around asking about her. You his man? Huh. Even if I knew something, I wouldn't tell you. To folks around here, the angel is a hero. I ain't selling her out to Shinra. When I was a young lad, I came to Midgard to help build the plate with everyone. Good to see you again, Murray. Good to see you too, Aerith. I'd heard you found yourself a funny new friend. Cloud, meet Mireille. She knows everything there is to know about the slums. Mireille, meet Cloud. He's a former soldier and super strong. Mm, he looks useful enough. The kids have been talking about you. The defender of the secret hideout. And now the hero of the Leaf House is helping the Daily Buzz look for the angel of the slums. I am? <laughs> I'm a lover of the Whispered Word. Not that it's any real secret, considering how chatty the Shinra Mutt's been. Not looking into it for the reporter. I'm doing it for myself. Call it curiosity, or whatever. Or could it be you've fallen under the Angel's spell like so many others? Anyway, it so happens that I have some information for you. But I'll need a moment before I can give it to you. Why don't you wait with that reporter of yours? Who ended up working for Corneo? I used to think he would grow up and run his own show. Years ago, when I came here, I've heard about you. So, any news? Have you tried talking to Marae at all? She told us that she had some information to share. Marae? As in the Marae? The town gossip? I chased her for days begging for info, but she wouldn't give up a single scrap. So, how'd you get the old bird to talk? This old bird had a change of heart, that's all. Then quickly, before you have another, tell us. What do you know about the notorious angel of the slums? Has she struck again? Is that it? I don't know anything about that, but I do know where her hideout is. Her base of operations? Now that's a scoop! Where is it? Tell me! Deep in the scrap, at Lookout Point. Hardly anyone goes out there these days. It's the perfect place for a criminal to hold up. Lookout point! Got it! I'll check it out right now! But before you go, I should warn you about this rumor I heard. About a terrible fiend that's claimed the Angel's hideout as its lair. Oh! Quite large. Lots of teeth. Always hungry. I don't know about you, but I'd not go anywhere near that thing. Oh, well, uh... <clears throat> Well, a good reporter knows never to take foolish risks. Uh, plan first, then act. 
That's every respectable journalist motto. If it's a plan you're looking for, I'd say you have one right here, wouldn't you? So, my good mercenary, if I might impose upon you again, it would be lovely if you investigated Lookout Point for me. I made a promise to... Uh, did you know? This place is hot. So I heard that there's this feeling of right How about it? You hungry? I heard there's so well around. Sure, I'm taking a look. Hey, you gotta be that work. Sure, I hope not. One of my friends told me that this hot in that Now that's just me. All right. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> Too bad.
I've got this. Don't you mean we've got this? <laughs> <laughs> Moving on then. can do.
now. <laughs> there. Let's do this. No more finding nice. One more shot. <laughs> hey there. Guess we should look around. Guardian Angel of the Slums will collect your offering on behalf of the poor. This must be one of her calling cards. I don't see anything else interesting. Let's head back and tell him what we found. Believe it, you found one of her calling cards! This is the genuine article, I'm sure of it! Pinned by the angel herself! Hmm. So this is one of her famous warnings. It's an incredible find! Oh, was that all? Hold on. Looks like there's something else. A message. To the nosy Shinra reporter sniffing around, I was planning to teach you a lesson you would never forget. However, by the grace of your mercenary friend, you were spared that lesson. But next time he might not be around to save you. You would be wise to watch your step. Not just a message from the angel, a warning. If the merc here hadn't bailed you out, that fiend in the scrap would have ripped you to shreds. <sighs> Sorry about that, friend. Here I was, just trying to help you out. But instead, my kindness almost got you violently killed. Now, now. <laughs> no harm, no foul, right? In any case, I hope this narrowly averted tragedy won't discourage you from sharing information with me in the future. Hey, everybody! The angel left another calling card! She's gonna rip off Don Corneo! It's about damn time! Don Corneo's no easy mark! I can't wait to see how this goes down! Excuse me, I'm a reporter for the Daily Buzz and... So much for my reward. Here, why don't you take this? Oh, and no need to thank me. Let's just say it slipped out of that reporter's bucket. <laughs> Can't call it theft if you're just claiming what you're owed. Am I right? Well done, Mr. Merck. You certainly lived up to your reputation. makes up for it a little bit. We paid our respects to your wife, and we took care of those creatures. Oh, that's such a relief to hear. I can't tell you how much it was weighing on my mind. I was beginning to think I might never be able to visit her grave again. With my bad back and my legs, my whole body's a mess, frankly. I... I didn't think I could make it past the creatures. But I was prepared to die trying, and then you two came along. Still, I've got to face facts. Creatures or no, I can't keep making these trips. Don't say that. This is the graveyard key. Run it back to Moggy. But I just told you about my legs. Why don't you just give it back? Okay. It'll cost you 5,000 gil, though. 5,000? It's always money with you people. <laughs> Fine. I won't ask you for anything else. I'll take your damned key and give it to the boy. <sighs> it's downright depressing. What is the world coming to these days? We probably ought to call it a day. Getting late, huh? You've been working so hard you lost track of time. Had to. The pay sucked. Because they didn't know if you were worth it yet. But now they do. Come on, let's go home. I wonder if this is one of 
Sam's children. Hello, Aerith. What do you want? Haven't seen him before. He your new boy toy? He's my bodyguard, if you must know. Wait a minute. Those eyes. Is he the one who beat up Reno? And what if I am? Need to cross my T's, dot my I's, that's all. Cloud, leave him be. Rude's not a bad person, really. No, I'm not bad. But like it or not, I sometimes have to do bad things. <sighs> Don't take it personal. You Turks are all the same. All bark, no bite. You're one to talk. No need to get rough! Stay back! Can't you leave us alone? Gotta get a little payback. Come on, then. I'll do it. Get him. Soldier, huh? First class. Go on. You're mine. Okay. <laughs> so, you had enough yet? No. I don't believe that I have. You can't. It's my job. Then think about changing careers. Maybe <laughs> this? <laughs> needed on standby uh, for a job or something uh, about Sector 7. So get your ass back here now. Understood. Got somewhere else to be? Apparently so.
Go home and stay there. You know I can't do that. Huh? Wait a sec. So, you coming? talking to the Shh. So yeah, it was that kind of day. <sighs> Let's go. Shouldn't keep mom waiting. Hey. What they say? Good work today, guys. Kidding. They didn't say a word. But, you know... Uh, never mind. It's not like you'd believe me, after all. Hmm. Probably not. Tell me anyway. Really? Yeah. It won't be much longer now. The flowers, they... They have something important to tell us. Something they... Need to share with us. At least, that's the feeling I get. But, before they can... There's a final step that has to be taken. Otherwise, we won't hear them. Maybe I should just give up. Honestly, it's what I do best. Could have fooled me. From what I've seen, you're no quitter. Well, today's special. That's why I've been working my butt off. Uh, what's so special about it? <laughs> okay, time to go. Learn to talk to her. Did the flowers say anything? Uh, good work today, guys? <laughs> That's the spirit. You're heading in already? Nah, not quite yet. You're heading in already? Yeah, that's enough for one day. Where have you two been? Uh, I've been worried sick. Sorry, we got a little sidetracked. Dinner's ready, in case you're wondering. Ah, great. But before we sit down, I want you to make up the guest room. Gotcha. Take a load off, okay?
Judging by those eyes, I'm guessing you're a soldier. Ex-soldier. I hate to ask, but would you leave tonight without any fuss, no questions? You boys made a trade, a normal life, for power. You can't have it both ways. I'm back! Good! Now, I hope you're hungry. Starving, right? I've never been so proud. The man you've become? Women must be hounding you day and night. Not really. You know, there's all kinds of temptations in the big city. I'd feel a lot better if I knew you'd found a good girl. One who'd make sure you didn't get into trouble. I can take care of myself. An older, more mature girl. I could keep you on the straight and narrow. And tell you when you're being a silly goose. That's the perfect type for you, I'd say. <sighs> Don't want to overstay my welcome. doing? Uh, uh, nothing. Did you have a bad dream? Don't worry, you'll feel much better in the morning, and I promise to take you straight home. Uh, okay. <sighs> Please don't let her hear me again. You're leaving? So, how do I get to Sector 7? It's simple enough. Just cut through Sector 6. It isn't exactly safe, but you should be okay, seeing as you're a soldier. Was one. Promise me, you'll never talk to Aerith again. Please. You got it. Thank you. Talk about a coincidence. What are you doing here? Waiting. Why? Because I'm not sick of you yet. <laughs> Lead on then. With pleasure. Cloud? 
Is something wrong? It's nothing. You can see the sky. They're still working on the new plate. I don't like this part of Midgar. Back when they were still building Midgar, there was an accident, and the plate fell. People had only just started moving in, so there weren't a lot living there at the time, but... And that's? The underside of Sector 6, Wall Market. A real special place. But I'm sure you already knew that, right? I didn't tell you? I enlisted pretty much right after I left home. Don't know much about this place, or any of the slums. Well, it took a lot of people to build Midgar, and they all needed to blow off steam. So some traders built an entertainment district. Inns, shops, bars, the works. Folks started pouring in from all over. Business was booming, money was flowing, which attracted the attention of some guys who didn't much care for the law. And now there isn't any. Right. But instead of trying to solve the problem, the government decided to just wall it in. And that's how Wall Market began. Out of sight, out of mind, as the old saying goes. For the folks in charge, there's no better way to deal with it. So it's like a giant veil. Yeah. Want to see what's behind it? Not really. That's good. Because I know a better way to get to Sector 7. One that, tragically, doesn't go through Wall Market. And it's just through this tunnel here. At least it was, back when I was a kid. like this, you know, ever since the plate fell. And there's no other way? It'll be an adventure. Let's do this. Yes, I gotta. Go on!
What's that? A big arm. Kind of cute, don't you think? Uh... up the ladder. I wonder if we can use this. Idea. I'll hop on and you give me a ride. You serious? Absolutely. I'll throw down the ladder for you to climb up after. Someone blocked it off because of all the monsters that kept showing up. Pretty dangerous place for kids to play. Raised in the slums, remember? You're tough. Hmm, that's supposed to be a compliment.
with that. I'll take care of them. This one's for you! Whatever. <laughs> You've got this. My turn. <sighs> I got your number. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Let's finish this. I bet you can grab that container with the arm. as a crane operator or something? Yeah? Huh? Uh, hmm. <sighs> oh no, look. Why is it always gotta be so tough? Lucky for me, you'll make this easier. Yes, ma'am. Well then, I'm gonna head down. Okay, Cloud! Ready! a second. Gotcha. Right there! 
I drop the ladder? Too fast, okay? Got it. Anybody around? Guess it's just us. Hmm. It's still warm. Should we relight it? Have our own campfire? I need to get back. Besides... Looky here, boys! Caught us some burglars! Coming into our homes and stealing our shit? Doing crimes? <laughs> I'd say we're owed compensatory damages. <laughs> Compromise composite. I don't get it. Ah, how stupid can you be? It's crazy simple. <laughs> compensatory damages is like, uh, it's like compensation for damages. Oh, yeah. <laughs> That's what you get when you, no, when somebody else. We uh, haven't done anything wrong. Yeah. We were just passing through. Oh, a likely story. <laughs> okay, what do you want? Nothing but our due recompense, that's all. <laughs> <laughs> due recompense, due recompense, due recompense. Due recompense? <laughs> no, shit for brains, due recompense. It's like, uh, uh it's like, uh, 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 damages. Uh, uh, of course, so I damages that. recompense. <laughs> I think we've heard enough. Get him! No holding sick! Come on! I'll show you what I can do. Get him! You can do it! Taking over. <laughs> Enough! Brace yourself! Go on! Get him! Going in! Okay, guys. Whatever you do, don't move. Don't look! Just don't look! I'm dead. I'm super dead. But why did you quit being a soldier? That is random. You don't have to tell me if you don't want to. Huh. 
Um, did you have any soldier friends? Any war buddies? No. Not really. Oh, okay. Huh? What we got here? Fresh meat that's not starting Okay, Cloud, heading down. You're in charge of the arm. Got it?
for you in a sec. Sure did. Uh. Huh? Wait a minute. Did you just... Nope. Don't worry. We'll be on the same page next time. What are you talking about? I'm sorry, okay? Hold it right there, love birds! You want to pass through our territory? Then you gotta pick up! I'll show you what I can do! That'll do! Get ready! Here! It's your turn! Let's do this! We made it! Smell the fresh air? The gate to Sector 7. Looks shut. How do we open it? More importantly, how about we take a break? Sound good? No. I don't have time Up for... there looks nice. <laughs> Come on! Time ago, I used to sell flowers here. Oh, yeah? <sighs> so, Cloud, you were a soldier first class, right? Yeah. Weird. Really? What's weird about it? Nothing. Just that you were the same rank. Huh? As who? The first guy I ever loved. <sighs> What's his name? I probably know him. Because of the Mako. All soldiers have them. Yeah, I know. Sorry, I'm bumming you out. We should go. <clears throat> Gotta look forward, not back.
Here. Hmm? This won't take long. <sighs> Ready! <sighs> Wanna get to Sector 7 in style? This is the passageway for you. So... <laughs> Go ahead. You gonna be okay getting home? And if I said I wasn't? I'll go with you. I thought you needed to get back. <laughs> Don't worry. I have a backup route for emergencies. And it's safer, too. Guess this is it then. Ready? Yeah. lost you. What's going on? Shh. I'll explain everything later. But now I'm on my way to see Don Corneo. You should head back to Seventh Heaven, meet up with the gang. But... I'll be fine. You've seen how much ass I can kick? I have. <laughs> yeah! Yeah! No, you don't. You're going after her. She's a big girl. She can handle the likes of him. And worse. Uh-uh. You don't know, Corneo. It doesn't matter how strong or smart you think you are. He'll find a way to turn it against you. And where is she going to meet him? A mansion filled with his goons. Come on. Aren't you worried what might happen in there? You have to help her. <sighs> Come on! Okay. <laughs> 